My little one needs his first dolphin checkup. Well, then let me just get my stethoscope and. Whoa! You're a quick little one. Junior, hold still now so Peso can examine you. At least he's getting plenty of exercise. His heart sounds nice and strong. Barnacles to Peso, there's a storm on the way. You need to return to the octopod as soon as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm taking care of my last patient and then I'll head back. Your baby is perfectly healthy. Here, you deserve a sticker for being such a good patient. Thanks, Peso. There's a storm coming. Will you two have a way to stay safe? Don't worry, Peso. We'll dive down below until it's over. Peso, you don't have long until the storm hits. Are you heading back? Yes, but there's something humongous hovering over me. I can't tell what it is. Captain, whatever it is, it's calling for help. I'd better check. Understood, but be careful. You don't have much time. Help. Help. <sighs> Captain, it's sea snakes. Lots and lots of them. I've never seen so many snakes all twisted up together like this before. Hey, so, what color are their bellies? Bellies? Let me check. Yellow. Aha! Just as I suspected. They are yellow-bellied sea snakes. They live their entire lives in the ocean and sometimes join together to make a giant floating island of snakes. So this is perfectly normal? Yes, but be careful. That yellow on their belly is a warning. They are poisonous. Poisonous? Yes, very poisonous. <gasps> Don't startle a sea snake. I might bite you. I'm sorry about that. I thought I heard a cry for help. Yes, yes, I need help. Well then, what seems to be the problem, Madame uh, Snake? Call me Simone. Right, um, well... Simon, I'm Peso. How may I help you? There's a splinter of driftwood stuck in my scales. Peso, the storm is picking up speed. You need to get out of there. Don't worry, this won't take long, Captain. Just need my tweezers. Are you certain you know how to help me? I'm an optimist and a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter how scaly or fangy or poisonous. Now don't move, and I'll have that splinter out. <laughs> sure where I am. It looks like an island. Psst. <gasps> Peso, please, don't move. Ow! I don't think I can move. I cannot move. I've got a sand in the mud. Uh, yes. Captain, I'm surrounded by sea snakes on the beach. They need help now. And my flipper, ow, seems to be broken. Don't worry. We're coming for you, matey. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the guts. Octonauts, Pacer is stranded on this beach with a group of yellow-bellied sea snakes. And he's got a busted flipper. Don't worry, I can guide you through all the steps you'll need to bandage my flipper. The real problem is all these stranded yellow-bellied sea snakes. They can't move. And this summer sun is really heating up the sand on the beach. Yes, and that is bad for our delicate scales. And it's getting hotter by the minute. Oh. Why can't the sea snakes just slither back into the water? 
Most snakes could, but yellow-bellied sea snakes can barely move when they're out of water. Well, I'm not afraid of snakes. I'll just pick them up and toss them back into the water. Problem solved, mateys. Never pick up a yellow-bellied sea snake. It's not safe for you or the snake. They're very delicate. Yeah. Then what do we do? We'll have to work it out when we get there. <laughs> Hey, sir! Shiver me whiskers! Phew. How's that busted flipper, matey? Okay, as long as I don't move it. Ow! Like that. Easy there. Stay still. We'll do our best to make it as good as new. Thanks, Captain. But first, we need to take care of Simon and her friends. It is so hot and so dry. My scales are sizzling. We need to cool them down right away. Agreed. Tunip, Vegemals, you keep the sea snakes cool and wet. But how do we get them back in the ocean if we can't lift them up? Hmm. Tweet? If we can't bring the yellow-bellied sea snakes to the water... Then we'll just have to bring the water to the snakes. So the water does the lifting. Ingenious. All right, everybody. We're gonna build a little swimming pool right here on the beach. Faster, and you can see a bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Vegemals, take your positions. Activate water pump. <laughs> oh, so wonderful. Oh, so good. It's working. Good work. Now, open the pool. <laughs> Let's help get that water moving out to sea. Octomort, grab your pal. That's it. It still hurts terribly. Captain, Quasi, you need to fix my flipper so I can help Simone. All right, Peso. We're ready. We are? Talk us through it. OK. Open my medical bag and take out a medium bandage roll and a splint. Uh -huh. Good. Now we're ready. OK, Captain. Hold the splint under my flipper. Right. Now, Quasi, take your bandage around three times fast. That's it. Captain, press and hold. Quasi, tie it off, and you're done. Well, matey, what do you think? How do you feel? Good as new. <sighs> and now, let's remove your splinter. But, oh, you lost your tweezers in the storm. And you've only got one good flipper, matey. Don't worry. One should be enough. Hold still, Simone. This won't hurt a bit. Oh, please hurry. I can't stand the suspense. There. It's out. It's out? Oh, it's out. Oh, you're simply sensational, Peso. Oh, <laughs> just doing my job. Good work, Peso. Adieu, my brave and gentle penguin. Adieu. Adieu, Simone. Adieu. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>
giant fish head jumped out of the water and crashed into you. Well, yes? Well, how did you know? Every single creature who's come into sickbay today says they were hit by a giant fish head. Yes! yes. Giant, giant fish head! Fish head. Yes. Giant yes. fish head! Giant fish head? I've never heard of anything like this before. I'd like to come face to face with this giant fish head myself. Well, believe me, it's a monstrous sight. You'll be as good as new after a little rest. Oh, lovely. Captain, there could be more patients out there who need help but can't make it to sickbay. Agreed. Peso, take the Gup E and look for hurt creatures. Quasi, you go with him and stop this monstrous giant fish head before he strikes again. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> fish heads lurking down here. And I don't see any hurt creatures either. Let's head to the surface. <laughs> Nothing up here except a giant fish head! <laughs> oh no, that guy is hurt! <laughs> We've got you, Mr. Gull! <sighs> Thanks for the landing pad. Oh, I can't fly with this wing. There you go. Good as new. Giant fish in the mountains! Um... Quasi to Octopod! Come in, Octopod! Go ahead, Quasi! Captain, we've been attacked by the giant fish head! And the gun is sinking fast! Dashy, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay! <laughs> Octonauts, Quasi and Peso have been hit by a giant fish head! Giant fish head? <laughs> yes, their gup is sinking and we need to go after them. The gup sees all ready to go. Very good. Shellington, you're with me. We open the octo hatch. You got it, Cap. <laughs> bony fish on Earth. But where's your tail, matey? <laughs> Sunfish like me don't have tails. We're all head. The name's Sonny. Nice to meet you, Sonny. Now please stop crashing into things. I, I didn't mean to. I've got a bad case of the itchies. Sometimes jumping out of the water splashes them off. A bad case of the itchies? Hmm. Let me take a look. Oh, my. You have lots and lots of parasites. Parasites are tiny things that live in your scales and make you itchy. Uh-oh. Here comes another attack of the itchies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We've got 
to get rid of his parasites and fast, or he'll just keep crashing into... Look out! Sometimes, sunfish throw their bodies around to shake off parasites. But they can also get rid of their parasites by letting other creatures clean them off. What creatures, Shellington? Sometimes, cleaner fish do the job underwater. Other times, a sunfish will go to the surface and let gulls clean the parasites from above. Coming through! Ah, oh. it's, it's, it's. Sonny, if you go up to the surface, lie on your side and relax, then gulls can clean you from above, while cleaner fish get rid of your itches from below. But what if it tickles? <laughs> I don't like being tickled. But until you get rid of the parasites, you'll be itchy. All right, I'll try it. But if it tickles, I won't be able to keep still. Captain, the cleaner fish and gulls in sickbay should be perfect for this job. Agreed. Quasi, you and Shellington take the Gup Sea back to the octopod and then meet us at the surface with the cleaning crew. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, so you and I will help Sonny swim up to the surface without crashing into anything else. <laughs> Itchy sunfish coming through. Stay clear, please. Itchy, itchy. Uh -oh. itchy. Wait, Sunny, turn around. Itchy. 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 I'm stuck. That current is strong. If we swim into it, we'll be stuck as well. We sunfish are big, but we're not very good swimmers because we don't have it. Quasi. We need to pull Sunny out of a strong current, and we need... Booster packs, Captain! On our way! Hang on, mateys! This could be a wild ride! Oh, come on, come on, we haven't got all day! I guess the Gup Sea isn't the fastest Gup around. Get ready for turbo speed! I didn't know the Gup Sea had turbo speed! It doesn't! <laughs> ah! And now, let's get rid of your itchies. Cleaner fish and gulls, this is not a giant fish head. It's a sunfish, and he needs cleaning. Yes, but I'm afraid he won't be able to keep still if it tickles. Oh, no tickling, please. No problem. We're all professionals. Right, guys? Right, OK. No tickling. I understand. All right, Sonny. On your side. Let the cleaning begin. Not a parasite on you. How do you feel? <sighs> Great. No itches at all, Doc. Thanks, guys. Sorry I crashed into all of you earlier. Next time you get a bad case of the itches, let us clean you before you go crashy, got it? Clean before crashy. Got it. <laughs> Here's a sticker for being such a good patient. Hey, <laughs> that tickles. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, Captain, could you practice 
somewhere. Uh. Yeah. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to. Yeah. Fascinating. That's a type of whale called an orca. orca. Look, there's another. And another. And another. Remarkable. We've attracted an entire pod. What's a pod, Professor? It's a group of orcas, Peso. The pod helps each other through thick and thin, rather like the octonauts. We've got to bump him back. Let's talk before we bump, Quasi. <clears throat> Greetings, Orca friends. Please, do not bump our ship. <laughs> That's enough. Everyone back. I'm terribly sorry. Is your ship all right? Yes, thank you. Is his head all right? Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh, you mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. <coughs> oh, um, that, that was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonauts, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? Want to race? Ah! Oh. Okay! <laughs> hey, you didn't say go! straight for the beach. Oh my, that's not a good place for an orca. Maybe I can stop him before he gets there. have a head start next time. Bet I'll still win. <laughs> uh, uh, just let me get turned around here. Uh, give me a push, will you? Aye. Uh, yow! Quasi, <laughs> are you all right? Aye, Captain, but I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the vegimals. <laughs> 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 
The orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, we'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my port calling to me. Oh no! All of the orcas are heading straight for the beach. Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Orcas, stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. The orca is too heavy to move when he's out of the water. We've got to figure out a way to pull him back out into the ocean where he belongs. We're gonna need rope. Lots and lots of rope. I'll contact the octopod and ask them to bring all the rope we've got. There's no time to lose. Ouch! Now, you listen here. <laughs> you don't have to hide. No one will hurt you. This beach belongs to us crabs. You and that giant thing must go, go, go! It's getting hotter and hotter. Octonauts, grab the ropes. Hmm. Ready to test, Cap. Octonauts, take your positions. On my signal. One, two, three, pull! Ow! Stop, stop! Oh, that really hurts. Captain, I don't think it's enough to pull him. Now, if we could get the ropes under him, we could lift him up. Hmm. We need a way to tunnel under the sand with the ropes. I think I know who can help us. Attention, crabs! You crabs have a special ability to tunnel under the sand. Will you use it now to help the orca? No, he got himself into this. He can't get himself out. Ah! Ah! Let me help you. There you go. Well, that was uh, really quite helpful. Thank you. So, are you with us? Oui? Oui? Okay, sideways, march! Octonauts, let's do this! One, two, three, four! Again, one, two, three, four! <laughs> one, two, three, four! Ah, it's working! Keep pulling! Captain, our pod is grateful to you and your pod. You can always count on the Octonauts to help. Remember to call on us if we can ever do anything for the Octonauts. Shall we practice our special signal? <laughs> Goodbye, Orca friends. Goodbye, Captain. Until we meet again. Now this is a picture of me grandfather, Calico Jack. It's because of him that I chose the pirate line. Wow, he looks very cool and very piratey with that parrot on his shoulder. 
That was his parrot sidekick, Pete. Calico Jack and Pete were devoted to each other, as parrot and pirate are meant to be. What else do you know about him? Well, matey, there is a song about him. A song? Can you sing it? Aye, I can sing it. Most of it, anyway. <coughs> he hunted for treasure. He scratched for fleas. The bravest cat on the seven seas. Once he got going, he never turned back. And that's the truth about Calico Jack. He always had courage. He couldn't be beat. Arr! Arr? That's as much as I know. I've never been able to find out what the last line of the song is. You'll find out someday. I know it. I hope you're right, Peso. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, the frame's broken, but at least the picture's all right. What's that on the other side? Shiver me whiskers. there would be a map hidden on the back of this picture. I reckon it'd be a treasure map. Pirates always hide their treasure maps. Aye, matey. I'm certain this map will lead us to the treasure of Parrot Island. <laughs> me grandfather, Calico Jack, must have wanted me to find this map, Captain. Look, X marks the treasure of Parrot Island. And I'm gonna find it. But how do we find it? Hmm. We're looking for a parrot-shaped island. With a volcano on one side and a little island with a palm tree on the other. Dashy? I'm already on it, Captain. I'm matching it to the maps on our computer. That's not it. No, not quite. Nope, that's definitely not it. No, that's, uh... What? Ah, oh, she blows! Yeah, tis not far from here. Then let's explore the island and find the treasure. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find the treasure of Parrot Island and explore the... Let's go, Captain! All right, Peso, into the guppe with Quasi. Yes, Captain. According to the map, we should be coming up on some kind of green blob. I wonder what it could be. Algae, and lots of it. Yeah! Hmm, it's impossible to see where we're going now. Captain, look! Ahoy there, mateys. I can clean this windscreen in no time. Thank you. Thanks, me hearty. No problem. Algae is my favourite snack. Well, matey, it's lucky for us that you like this scurvy muck. Ah, you sound like a pirate. Ah, yeah, I am a pirate. I've always wanted to meet a real live pirate. My name's Parrotfish Pete. A parrotfish named Pete. Me grandfather Calico Jack had a parrot named Pete. Ah, Calico Jack, the famous pirate, was your grandfather. So you've heard of him? Aye, I'm a big fan of pirates. What be your name? I be Quasi. I could be your sidekick. Quasi and his trusty sidekick, Pete the Parrotfish. Doesn't that sound great? Well, pirates usually have parrots as sidekicks, not parrotfish. Well, I've got a beak like a parrot, but I'm even better than a parrot. Look, I can change me colours. Wow. Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. Uh, and parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then, but we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey, so you'll have to keep up. Whoa, my first day is a trusty pirate sidekick, uh, and I get to search for treasure. <laughs> Let's go, parrotfish Pete. What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. Ahoy, mateys! Ah, 
this reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that! And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye! Moray eels! These waters are full of them, matey! And look at their sharp teeth. Ah! Oh, but we have to get past them to find the treasure. How are we going to do that? I can get us past them, me hearties. How? Moray eels like to eat parrotfish. But we have a way of protecting ourselves from them. Ah! First, I cover myself in a bubble. Ah! The eels can't see very well. And this bubble makes it so they can't smell me either. Which means they leave you alone. Very clever. That might be fine for you, but we can't make bubbles, me hearty. Oh, I'll make them for you. Octonauts, let's do this. can smell peso. Peso! This way. Quick, in there. Quasi, bubble block. It worked. They can't smell peso anymore. We're safe now. Phew. Pete, we never would have made it without your protective bubbles. Ah, it was nothing. Parrotfish Pete, any pirate will be proud to call you his sidekick. Ah, thanks, Quasi. According to the map, Parrot Island should be right around here. Let's swim to the surface and look for it. Look, there's the volcano. And there's the little island with the palm tree. Yeah. But there's no Parrot Island anywhere. Maybe me grandfather's map was wrong. Avast! Uh, down here, mateys. Huh? Yow! Look at that! Wow! It's an underwater island. Aye, and Parrot Island is actually Parrot Fish Island. There's me grandfather's treasure! Huh? What's this key for? Oh, look! A keyhole! I'll try it, matey. <laughs> he hunted for treasure, he scratched for fleas! The bravest cat on the seven seas! Once he got going, he never turned back! And that's the truth about Calico Jack! He always had courage, he couldn't be beat When he set sail with his parent peas! Quasi, you found it! The last line of the song! Ha 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 ha! me hearty! Now that's a treasure for sure! How can I ever thank you, Pete? Ah, don't mention it! So, what do you say? You want to keep being me parrotfish sidekick? Ah, well, it's been exciting being a sidekick, but now that we've found Parrotfish Island, I think I'd like to stay here with the other parrotfish. All right, me hearty, I understand. But how about your very own song to remember your pirate days by? A song about me? You don't have to worry when you get in trouble, cos Pete will protect you with his special bubble. As brave friends go, he can't be beat. And that's the story of Parrotfish Pete! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's nothing more relaxing than a moonlight drive. Flying fish! So, you want a race, do ye? You're on! Avast, me fishies! Wow! A 
been hit. It's a snake attack. Yeah. Ah, show yourself, you scurvy coconut. Ah. Uh. <gasps> Blubbering blowfish. It's the mark of my grandfather, Calico Jack. Something's inside. <gasps> Very treasure. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Hmm. I think this calls for my newest invention, the Octo Claw. This little beauty will crush or crack almost anything, including coconuts. Yow! Now let's try it on Calico Jack's coconut. Still trying to open this coconut, eh? I don't get it. My Octoclaw should have done the job. I modeled it after the greatest coconut cracker in the animal world, the coconut crab. Maybe that's who we need to help, um, crack this mystery. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Ow! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to find a way to open up Calico Jack's coconut. We'll need the help of the greatest coconut cracker of all. Shellington? Ah, yes, the coconut crab, the largest land crab in the world. It has powerful pincer claws used for cracking open coconuts. Where can we find these crabs? You'll need to look on an island. Coconut crabs live strictly on land. This shows all the islands in the area, Captain. Hmm. Zoom in on that one, Dashy. It's crawling with coconut trees. Exactly. And where there are coconut trees, there are usually... Coconut crabs! Tweak, ready the Gup X. Island straight ahead, Cap. Coconut crabs only come out at night. We don't want to scare them off. Tweak, activate stealth mode. You got it, Cap. Hmm, not a crab to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There. No, over there. <gasps> the coconut, it's gone. Tweak, spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi, you head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. But there's my wife, Claudette. But her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah. How did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? Oh, I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years. So, it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of my grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. 
It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Crack! Keep pulling! Tweak, deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. Coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim! Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. Peso, activate Octo Ski. Tweak, activate Glider. Operation Coconut Drop begins now. Ready, coconut. Crack! And drop! <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> gotcha! There's Clem! There's a lot of wind. This could get bumpy. Coconut ready! Crack! I don't see Clem. I've got to get a closer look. <laughs> there he is. Damn drop! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Nice catch, matey. And I might add... Ouch! Wazzy! Rubbing trouble up ahead. Thanks, fishies. <laughs> That's Clarence. Thank you, Octonauts. Good work, everyone. Mission complete. Ah, but we still haven't cracked Calico Jack's coconut. You're right. Hmm. If we drop it onto a rock from up here, it just might crack open. Okay, drop! in the coconut. This is no coconut. It's a hollowed out cannonball from Calico Jack's ship. Whoa! Whoa. So that's why it was so hard to crack. And here's a note from Calico Jack. He says, thanks for rescuing me, mateys. These here three coconuts are for the little tykes to practice their cracking skills. Huh, Trying coconuts! Let's get cracking! Look, there's something on the other side. So there is. Oh, and if you ever run into me grandson Quasi, tell him for me. Yeah! Ooh, almost finished packing. Me spyglass, me ball of wool. And me copy of True Tales for Pirates. Try these, mateys. <laughs> yeah! Captain, I'm ready for a couple of...
holiday's holiday on Coconut Crab Island. Have a nice relaxing time, Quasi. And we'll see you back aboard the Octopod in two days. Aye, aye, Captain. And don't forget to take the emergency button. If you run into any trouble, you'll be able to sound the Octo Alert. <laughs> what kind of trouble could I possibly run into napping in a hammock, sipping coconut milk from a straw? Well, just in case. Because you never can tell, Quasi. <laughs> Back to Coconut Crab Island. No better place to drop anchor and relax, Claude. You remember my wife, Claudette, and my three sons, Clyde, Clem and Clarence? Can I show Quasi his hammock, please? Can I? Can I? Hey? All right, Clarence, but make sure you don't bother him too much. I won't. I promise. Right this way. Meow. <laughs> Settle down with true tales for pirates. <sighs> oh, oh. Ahoy, matey. <laughs> what can I do for you? I just love a good pirate story. Do you now? Well, just hop on up and I'll read you the story of Long John Catspaw, the fiercest pirate that ever sailed the seven seas. Oh, wow. I even bought my own special piratey coconut. <laughs> that sure is a piratey coconut if ever I saw one, matey. So... Long John Catspaw looked through his spyglass and saw something unlike he'd ever seen before. <sighs> Shiver me whiskers! Somebody swiped me coconut! Maybe Long John Catspaw came and took it. No pirate worth his sea salt would steal a sleeping pirate's coconut. It's against the pirate code. And it's too easy. <laughs> Have you two seen any scurvy coconut thieves on the island? Coconut thieves? Who oh, would steal a coconut? It's just us crabs. You probably dropped it in your sleep and it fell into the water. Here, have another coconut and forget about it. OK, but I still think there's a coconut thief on this island. If only we could catch him. Hi, matey. We'll set a trap and catch him in the act. I'll show this sneaky thief you can't steal a coconut from a sleeping pirate and get away with it. Yeah, because a real pirate is really smart. Aye, matey. A pirate is always one step ahead of the rest. Quasi, <laughs> are you all right? Uh, never saw that coming. <laughs> what? <laughs> that scurvy thief even took me fake coconut head. Oh, no. And my special pirate coconut shell. Clarence, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Oh! Whoa! Ah. Quasi! Quasi! Uh. Coconuts! I mean, octonuts! Oh! Octonauts! To Coconut Crab Island! <laughs> Clarence sounded the octo alert, but you didn't say why. Somebody's been stealing Quasi's coconuts. And that's not all. Somebody's stealing our coconuts too. And the scurvy thief even took Clarence's special coconut shell. The one that he marked like a pirate. Oh, your special coconut? How will you ever fall asleep? How will any of us sleep knowing there's a thief on the island? I. That thief has really crossed the coconut line. Stealing coconuts from innocent little coconut crabs is downright mean. We're going to catch that thief and recover the stolen coconuts. But the thief could be hiding anywhere. Then we'll just have to play a little game of hide and seek to find that sneak. Captain, the missing coconuts have to be somewhere around here. They're not just flying away. <laughs> Flying back! Shiver me 
whiskers. Looks like that scurvy thief is hiding under the water. And we can't go after them because coconut cribs can't swim. Don't worry, Octomords can. Quasi, Peso, let's search the water. Now, where would somebody hide a secret stash of stolen coconuts? Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. Captain, I found a teeny tiny coconut. You found more than one, Peso. We found them all. But where's the thief? No sign of him. But at least we can return the coconuts to our crab friends. Our coconuts! <sighs> but no sign of my special coconut. You wouldn't happen to me. This little coconut, would you? <laughs> My special pirate coconut! He found it! Oh, of course I did. I'm a pirate! But where did the other half come from? Shiver! Whiskers! That coconut has a mind of its own! <gasps> it's also got eyes of its own. I've got this! A vast Hold on. I'm on the trail of the coconut thief. He's an octopus and he's walking on two tentacles. He's heading for the rocks. Stay with him, Quasi. Peso and I will join you there. Oh, coconuts. Ooh. Sir, you want to play, do you? Um, Where's our thief? The scallywag is hiding in one of these here coconuts. Where'd you go? Just missed him. Oh. He's beating us at this game. Then it's time to try a new plan. Right you are, Captain. We'll just have to smash all these coconuts to smithereens. Uh, maybe not, Quasi. I have another idea. If we take one of his stolen coconuts, he's sure to come after it. Good idea, Captain. This octopus does seem to be rather attached to the coconuts. Hmm. Attached to the coconuts. Is the coconut secure? Ow! Yes, Captain. Sorry, Quasi. I just hope the tail is secure. All right. Quasi, when the thief goes for the coconut, we should be able to catch him. Now, start swimming. Nice and slow. I'm not a coconut thief, I'm a coconut octopus. What's the difference? I use coconut shells to hide in. That's how a coconut octopus stays safe. What? Shiver me whiskers. That looks just like a regular coconut. That's clever. You're using coconut shells as a kind of tool. You like it, huh? Hey, it's the ultimate in octopus protection. It's like my very own shell. Ooh. I can see why you need those coconuts. So, you like to hide inside the coconuts. But what was the idea of throwing them back on shore and bonking me on the head? Sorry, but all the coconuts hadn't been cracked. I was trying to break them open by tossing them on shore. I guess it's not his fault that your head turned out to be a good coconut cracker. Well, Quasi is a bit hard-headed. <laughs> Very funny. But I don't suppose you need all of these coconuts. I guess not. Just need a few good ones to hide in, and I could use a little help cracking them open. I think we may be able to help you out. Really? Yippee! Here you go, Clarence. My special coconut! I thought I'd never see it again. Nah, I'd never let a fellow pirate down. So, Claude, do we have a deal? We'll be happy to crack some coconuts and throw them into the water for the little octopus. Yep, if he doesn't steal any more from us. <laughs> oh, that's so kind of you. Oh, woo. I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are, the coral reef. Where's your patient? 
Captain, I don't see anything big. It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the coral reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. What's wrong, Peso? This coral is turning white, Shellington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. <gasps> Peso, you'd better take a look at this. No! The entire coral reef is getting sick! If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home! There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso! Let's go! Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There! That's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now, everybody got it? Got, got it! Octonauts, let's do this. If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh, spiky sea urchin. <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. Oh, what was that? Hmm. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashi. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Ah! Jumping jellyfish. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Lappity flippers. Cool. You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. 
Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They What's this? They love to play with each other and make up new games. Hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose. <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose. Sponge nose, sponge nose. <laughs> There. Oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins. We have very important work to do. If you could please just play. <laughs> Bet you can't catch me. Oh, enough is enough. Huh? Oh. Whoa. Um, easy now. I just want to... Um... See how long you can hold on. Look out! Whale shark straight ahead! Nice catch! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but, um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece! Ah, that sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one! Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go! Ready, everybody? Ready! Ready. With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral, put it in the holes. I reckon I can find five pieces of coral before you find one. You're on, matey! Mm. Another healthy one. Thank you. <laughs> That's the last one. Here you go. Thanks. There. We're finished. The reef is starting to look healthier already. Hooray! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! Come
to eat spicy algae burgers tonight, matey. Burger, burger, mama, he says they need to make more burgers, but they've run out of algae. Easy, Quasi. We'll just go out and find some more. Come on. According to the map, there should be a big algae patch on the other side of this coral reef. That coral reef looks sick. It's all white. Hmm, let's stop and investigate. There's more sick coral over here. Captain, this coral reef needs a full checkup. Agreed. Peso, you and Shellington check this side of the coral reef. Quasi, we'll take the other side. No sick coral on this side so far. Whoa, that's a lot of algae. We might as well collect some while we're here. Huh? Quasi? Captain, it's me old friend, Parrotfish Pete. Hello, Pete. Uh, if you don't mind keeping your voices down, <laughs> I'm trying to sneak some algae. But why do you have to... Why do you have to sneak it? Because of those damselfish. <laughs> they guard that algae as if it were a treasure chest full of gold mateys. Now, wish me luck. Here, <laughs> yeah, keep off the algae. I just want my fair share. Nothing more, nothing less. Scram, damselfish only. Saints <laughs> They had you outnumbered, matey. Aye, but at least I got away from the scurvy little nippers by squirking sand. Oh, there goes my pal, Sammy. Maybe she can get to the algae. Yikes! Talk to the spikes! You're right, Sammy. Oh, my spikes protected me, but I didn't get anything to eat, not even a nibble. Look out! Coming through! <laughs> get it, boys. Yes. Hi, Robert! Hi, Deep! Hungry? Yep. I give up! But I'm still hungry. Yep. It seems like a lot of fish on this coral reef are hungry because they can't get past those damselfish to eat. Peso to Captain Barnacles. We found more sick coral on this side of the reef. Meet us back at the gut, Peso. Captain, I think there's a connection between the sick coral on the reef and those damselfish. Damselfish grow algae to eat, but when they don't let other fish eat it, there's too much algae. All that extra algae makes the reef sick. You see, Pete and his friends keep the algae from spreading too far. If they can just eat some of the extra algae, the sick coral reef will get better. Yes, but damselfish are very protective of the algae they grow. They'll never listen to other algae-eating fish like us. Don't worry, we'll talk to them for you. Excuse me, we'd like to talk to you damselfish about a problem on the coral reef. You got a problem? Talk to the boss. The boss? The one with the big spot on his face. Uh, a big spot? Sorry, I don't see a damselfish with a big spot. Oh, yes, damselfish can see colours we can't. If you want to see that big spot, you'll have to set your binoculars to... Damselfish vision. <laughs> what will Tweak think of next? Ah, that's better. Aha, the spot. Excuse me, are you the boss? Certainly I am. And keep off the algae. Right, um, we're the Octonauts, and we've discovered some trouble on this coral reef. <laughs> There's no trouble for us damselfish. We're sitting pretty with more algae than we can eat. Ain't that right, boys? Right, right boss. That is the trouble. Too much algae makes the coral reef sick. But you can save the coral reef if you'll just let some of the other fish eat some of the algae too. Forget about it. This is my algae farm, and I don't ever leave it. Now, scram! Whoa, easy, Quasi. We'll scram. 
If the boss never leaves his algae farm, then he has no idea that the coral reef is sick. We need to get the boss off his farm. Aye, but how? We're going to take his algae. Take his algae? algae. I'll explain. Octonauts and algae eaters to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, our mission is to save the coral reef. But first, we have to show the damselfish that the coral reef is sick. Here's the plan. We steal some algae from the damselfish and use it as bait to lead them to the sick coral. So the damselfish will see for themselves that the coral reef is in trouble. This algae is heavily guarded by the damselfish. Yes, and each damselfish has his own personal patch of algae. If we take some algae from the boss's personal patch, he's sure to chase after us. Aye, but look at all those patches. How do we know which one is his? Already on it, Quasi. Dashie and I have been working on the damselfish cam. It's a camera that looks just like a damselfish. I'll use it to slip past the guards and find the boss's algae patch. And of course, this camera has damselfish vision. The boss has one big spot on his head. Come on, show yourself. There he is, and there's his patch of algae. The boss is surrounded by all those damselfish. How do we get past them? Ah, that's where Pete, Sammy and Robert come in. Now, each of you has a special skill you can use to distract the damselfish. Squirting sand. Speed. Oh, I'm thinking. Give me a minute. Uh, is it my spikes? Yes, Sammy. It's your spikes. While you keep all the other damselfish busy, Peso drops Quasi into the boss's algae patch. Then I take the algae and we lead the boss to the sick patches of coral. All right, everybody. Operation Algae Lift begins now. Sammy, you're on. Oh my, this algae looks delicious. Come and get me, fishies. Oh, you, and you, and you, keep off the algae. Huh? Sorry, just dropping in for lunch. Now let's go, Peso. No, that's my algae. Damselfish, follow that cat. Faster, Peso. Keep the turbo running. OK. I've never driven a getaway gut before. <laughs> he took the bait, Captain. We're on our way. Very good, Quasi. Peso, there's a big rock coming up. Fake right, then go left. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> Captain, more damselfish coming straight at us. Give me whiskers. Pull up fast. Peso, pull up. Don't lose them. That was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> we got you right where we were. And we've got you right where we want you. Take a look. Here. And here. And here. And here. So the coral looks bad. What's she going to do with me? If you keep all the algae for yourself, the whole coral reef will disappear forever. Hold on. No more reef. No more algae. But it can get well again. If we let the other fish eat the extra algae. Exactly. Uh, all right. You've got yourself a deal. Who's ready for a spicy algae burger? <laughs> Attention, creatures. The ocean current is extra strong today, so please, be careful and find a safe place to go. Do you need 
need some help getting to safety? No, my voting should be there by Thursday. Here, let me help you. Oh, I'm early. Thanks, Octonauts. Ahoy, friend! Did you hear the warning? Can't understand you, matey. Why are you talking like that? All I heard was yaddy daddy daddy bay. Can you speak a bit slower, please? I said I'm Jimmy the Jarfish, and I'm going home to my burrow, which is right there, and my mouth is full of eggs! Oh, I dropped my eggs! That's Jerry. And Jojo. Oh, and little Janie. Look just like a mother. Go. Here, get this one. Last one. The current! Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. The current swept his eggs away. Don't worry, we'll find your eggs. Every last one of them. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the current has carried away ten of the jawfish's eggs. Our mission is to find them and return them to their father's mouth. Mouth? Why would anybody keep eggs in their mouth? Jawfish dads are mouth brooders, Tweak, which means that they protect their eggs by keeping them in their mouths until they hatch. See? The ocean can be a very dangerous place for a tiny egg. There are a lot of fish who might like to eat them. Then we'll have to find the eggs right away. Dashi, can you track the path of the current? Activating current tracker. The current has traveled along these cliffs, over these geysers, and through this rocky trench. Then that's where we'll find the eggs. Here's the plan. Shellington, you stay with the jawfish at his burrow. Yes, Captain. Dashi, you stay here and keep track of the current. Quasi, Peso and I will split up and search for the eggs. Hey, I can I can yes, Tunip, you can help look for the eggs too. Tweak, those eggs are small and delicate. We'll need... Something to collect them in? I've got just the thing, Cap. Egg vacs! These will suck the eggs right up and keep them safe until you get them back to the jawfish. I also changed your air tanks into special booster packs. Just press this button and you'll get a boost of speed to help you swim against the current. Good work. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Peso, you search along the cliffs. Got it. And Quasi, you search by the geezers. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll search the rocky trench. Octonauts, let's do this. Hmm. These are the cliffs. And that is an egg. There you are, nice and safe. Oh, a cute egg. Kind of looks like that one. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, that was easy. Any others around? There's one. That manta ray is eating everything in sight. Activating booster pack. Easy peso. Flippers down. Lead with the beak. Got it! Sorry, Manta Ray. You'll have to snack on something else. That's not very nice, is it? Let's get you back to your dad. You found an egg, Tunip. Let's see. Oh, Tunip, that's a pebble. Keep trying. Here you go. Three eggs, safe and sound. I think he said that's Joseph, Josephine and Judith. <laughs> Captain, three eggs have been returned safely to the jawfish's mouth. Well done. Thanks, Shellington. One, two, three, seven more to go. Captain, I've reached the geezers. Whoa!
You're a cute little nipper. Oh, yes, you are. Special egg delivery. Say, ah. Uh... Uh... Tunip, did you find one this time? Uh, no, that's a seashell. Uh... Captain, we found three more eggs. And I found two. That's eight altogether. I'll keep searching for the other two, but the current has loosened up the rocks. Whoa! So it might get tricky. Almost close. Whoa! Nearly. Whoa! Bingo! Time to take you home. Three more eggs, safe and sound. Oh, and how? Nine down. Still one to go. It's Jimmy Jr. Named after his father. A brave little egg with a sense of adventure. He's out there somewhere. Dashy, come in. Yes, Captain. We've searched the cliffs, the geezers, and the trench. But there's still one egg missing. His name is Jimmy Jr. The last egg could still be caught up in the current, which has moved past the rocky trench and is heading into open water. Thanks, Dashy. Quasi, Peso, if we don't find that egg soon, it could be lost for good. Let's move. Jimmy Jr., up ahead. Activate egg vax. Too strong for the egg vax. We'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Hold this. <laughs> Whoa, slippery. Get it. I got it. <laughs> now I've got you. Yeah. Lemon sharks. I can handle this one, Captain. <laughs> Careful, Quasi. You can't let them notice you. Swim under the sharks as quietly as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, that looks like a nice snack, man. Hey, sir, take Jimmy Jr. <laughs> Snack time, man. Yeah, enjoy. Quasi, what do you do? Don't worry, Jimmy Jr. is safe and sound. Phew. Hey, it's empty. Let's get them. See you later, Shockies. We proudly return with the one and only. Jimmy Jr. Oh no! Oh, we'll be no. I, I had him in my paw. He, he must have slipped out somewhere. I, I... That's seaweed. That's a clam. That's an egg. That's an egg. Tunip, you found Jimmy Jr. Who's Ah, we found all ten. Great job, Octo. Shellington, what did he say? He said, my eggs are hatching. Hooray! Oh, wow, look! Yeah. You're a little daredevil, aren't you? Thanks, Jimmy Jr. A chip off the old block. Wow, oh, look at my baby. I love every single one of you. Oh, we're going to need a bigger home. Uh, what is he doing? I think he said he's digging out his burrow with his mouth. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Status report, Dashy. We're right on course, Captain. Spending a day at the beach was a great idea, Captain. Actually, it was Dashy's suggestion. Well, after all, it is summertime. And even the Octonauts need a holiday now and then. Avalala! What did they say? <laughs> they want to know, are we there yet? Not yet. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> No need 
to rush, everyone. We have plenty of... <laughs> Time! Coming through! You certainly came prepared, Dashy. I sure did, Captain. I can't wait to do a bit of surfing. And I bought some extra surfboards if anyone wants to come along. Surfing? Sounds like fun. I'm always on the lookout for a new adventure. Yow! <laughs> so, before long, you can sense the waves before they even reach you. You kind of become a part of them. Like this? <laughs> Impressive. My family and I used to body surf all the time. So using a board is easy. I'm sure anyone can do it. Maybe not anyone. <laughs> Maybe pirates are better at swashbuckling than surfing. Maybe. Come on, Quasi. Why don't we ride the next wave back to the beach? Hi, matey. <laughs> See you back on the beach, Dashy. Be there soon. Oh, oh, hey, sorry. Didn't mean to spook you. I'm Violet, and this is my friend Vic. Sir. We're surfing snails, which means we love to surf. Yeah, we live on the surface of the ocean. And these bubbles keep us afloat. Wow, I've never met a surfing snail before. That's okay, Dudette. We've never met a surfing uh, whatever you are. My name's Dashy. I'm an octonaut. And I bet my friends back at the beach would love to meet you guys. It sounds cool. Race you to the beach. So, you make your own bubbles? That's right. Like this. <gasps> And use them like surfboards. Wow. Fascinating. Radical. All well and good when the water's calm, but what happens when a big wave hits? Like the one that got me? Dude, you thought that was big? You should see the really big ones we ride. Hey, I know. Tide's coming in soon, and there's going to be some major wave action. Want to check it out? Uh... I do. Let's go. This is pretty far out. I know, right? This is far out. No, I mean, pretty far out from shore. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be totally worth it. So, what are we waiting for? That. By a huge wave. Can't they just surf their way to safety? This wave was too big, even for them, and the rough water was popping their bubbles. That's not good. Surfing snails can't swim. If their bubbles pop, they'll sink underwater. They won't be able to get back up. Then we have no time to lose. Quasi peso dashi to the Gup X. <laughs> Right up there is where I last saw the snails. Then let's take a look, shall we? Hey, so you stay here in the tank. We may need you and your medical skills once we find the snails. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. 
Activating glider wings. And up. Get close, Cat! And oh, grab him! I can't reach them! I can't get any closer without crashing. <laughs> we'll have to try something else. I know! Peso, send up the Octo Ski! On its way, Quasi! Prepare for airdrop. Aye, aye, Captain. Dashi, ready? Tight. Complete. A nice catnap on the beach? <laughs> no, Quasi. To see you stay on the board long enough to really enjoy surfing. <laughs> uh... Come on, let's give it one more try. Totally. Yeah. One more try. Come on, pirate dude. All right, mateys. I'll give it one more try. Now, let's see if you can use it to stick to something. I hope it's working. I have to be able to stick to bigger fish. That's how I hitch rides all over the ocean. Hmm. Now, what can we practice on? Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> you've definitely got the sticking part sorted. Now, let's practice the unsticking part. I I'm trying, but, oh, I can't. Don't worry, I'll help. Nora, Nora, Nora. Oh. Cap 
Captain, Nora has vanished. And I'm afraid there's no sign of her on the fish tracker. We need to find her, Captain. She could be stuck to something dangerous and not be able to get unstuck. Don't worry, Pacer. We'll find her. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, we need to find this missing fish. She's a remora who goes by the name of Nora. Nora the remora, eh? She was last seen by Peso near this trench. And then she disappeared without a trace. So, we've got a little fish who's disappeared in a big ocean. What other clues do we have, matey? No other clues, but the sucker on her fin is hurt. The longer she's out there, the more danger she's in. Cap, what about... Agreed. I've never seen that before. We've never had to use it before. You think he'll get the signal, Cap? He'll get the signal. Who'll get what signal? I don't hear anything. Hold on, Quasi. I expect he'll be here in five, four, three, two, one. Harry the Harbour Seal, at your service. Oh, oh. Octonauts, meet my old friend and ace detective, Harry. Thanks for coming, Harry. After all the times you've saved my sealskin barnacles, I owe you one, <laughs> or two. Peso, why don't you tell Harry about our case? Oh, right. Well, let's see. Wait, let me guess. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me. So obviously, they're lost or missing. <laughs> Whoa, well, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow. Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the Remora? This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrasse and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning, you must wait until I'm finished with shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish, and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... <laughs> oh! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark! I need to clean your teeth! We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now. Don't chomp, my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <laughs> <sighs> Everyone all right? Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saving my sealskin barnacles. <laughs> But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and... A little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. 
This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get the picture. The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor, but he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went that away. Better follow them before the trail goes cold. Peso, go with Harry. We'll catch up in the guppe. Remember, we're on the lookout for a big, pointy-nosed fish. With Nora attached. Yeah, they definitely came this way. We're close, Peso. Very close. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine. Just running out of air. Harbour seals have to go up to breathe every 30 minutes. Hold on, I'll just grab a quick breath. <laughs> oh, oh. oh no, snapping shrimp! <laughs> yeah. What was that? Let's make sure Peso and Harry are all right. Snapping shrimp. They make those loud snaps to defend themselves. Shiver me whiskers! They've knocked out Harry and Peso! Attention, snapping shrimp! We are the Octonauts, and we're not out to harm you. Would you please stop snapping so we can help our friends? Oh, sorry. We always snap first, ask questions later, you know. All right, everybody, stop snapping. Are you all right, Peso? Oh, I'm fine, but where's Harry? He was knocked out by those snapping shrimp, just like you. Oh, no. He's okay, but he needs air right away. Captain, we need to get him up to the surface to breathe. Understood. Peso, you pull. Quasi, we'll push. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel ready to solve this case. <laughs> Come on, chaps. <laughs> okay, Peso, we've got to follow these ripples. Aha! There's our big fish with a pointy nose. That's a sailfish, but where's... Nora! Peso! Let's go! It's fast, but we're catching up, mateys. I can't get unstuck! Don't worry, we're coming for you! Catch me if you can! Whoa! He's making a getaway! Flappity flippers, he can leap into the air. He's not the only one who can leap into the air. Peso, on my back. I'll leap, you grab. <laughs> Ready? Ready. There they are. <laughs> Can't get unstuck. Oh. We're coming, Nora. We're gaining on them. Just a few more days in the sick bay, and you'll be good as new, Nora. But we do need to bandage that hurt sucker. Well, it looks like this case is all wrapped up. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Okay, Leo. Everything up here looks good. Now let's check your tentacles. Checking. Checking. Still checking. Just one teeny tiny tentacle to untangle. This won't hurt a bit. There. All better. Oh, you are the best doctor in the whole ocean, Peso. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> your stingers seem to be working just fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love to just hug, but it never seems to end well. It's all right, Leo. I'm wearing a sting-proof suit. Besides, you're a lion's mane jellyfish. It's what you do. Ah, you're right. It's how I protect myself and my friends. 
He found the big fishes. Huh, but that one there, try to eat my friends. Ah, I give them the old zapparo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> That's right, Leo. And you're always giving us food. We couldn't be happier. Which one of you fish would like a checkup and a sticker? <laughs> okay, Tunip, we are officially done fixing up the bubble engine. Let's fill her back up with water. Now remember, when the water reaches the launch bay jack, close the front door. <laughs> Easy as pie. But first, let's make sure the area outside the octopody is all clear. No creatures in the area. We are all clear. Ready, Tunip? Super, super! Blast off! <laughs> yeah I love this part! <laughs> now let's test your tail fins. Swim to that big rock as fast as you can. Huh? <gasps> Leo! Presto! Okay, Janet, we're gonna close the door right about now! Ouch! <laughs> What is it, Trick? We got a situation down here. What kind of situation? I describe it as a tentacle type situation. Leo? Think so? Please, can I have my stick up? Oh, and one other thing. The octopod's about to blood! Huh? Whoa! Ouch! to get you and your tentacles back into the ocean. <gasps> but what about my friends? Those little fishes are in the big danger. I must leave here at once. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Leo, stop. You'll hurt yourself. Aso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. <laughs> okay, but please be quick. <laughs> Tulip. Leo's stings don't seem to bother him. Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Super couple. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting-proof suits. <laughs> Octonauts, these tentacles belong to a lion's mane jellyfish named Leo. He's stuck in the bubble engine. And everywhere else. Of course. Tentacles this long could only belong to a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's manes are the largest jellyfish in the world. As long as a blue whale, their tentacles often provide protection to smaller fish. <laughs> oh, no! Dogfish! Those fish are in serious danger without Leo around. We need to act fast. Our mission is to untangle these tentacles and protect those fish. Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. Aha! Shoot ink! Okay, Professor, but please be careful. Of course, Captain. Peso, you're an expert at wrapping and unwrapping bandages. Any tips? It's all in the flipper. <laughs> the tickles! <laughs> but what if you don't have any flippers? Then it's all in the wrist. Oh. Ouch! Sorry, Leo! Try it again, Quasi. But this time, take a deep breath and make the following sounds. Hup, cha, hoi, yeah! Hup, cha, hoi, yeah! Oh, 
<laughs> well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. This is kind of fun. Dashi, would you like to give it a try? <laughs> Tweak? Hmm. Uh, where might those fish be? <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Out of our way, octopus. That's our lunch. <laughs> And it's getting cold. I'm a Dumbo octopus, to be precise, and I must insist that you seek lunch elsewhere. Or what? Or I'll be forced to use my tentacles on you. Ha! You're no lion's mane jellyfish. Those don't sting. Now, out of our way. Hmm. I did warn you. <laughs> and now we make our getaway. Oh, 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 I can't see. I can't see. There they are. After them. OK, Captain. Your turn. Char, <laughs> Octonauts, the HQ is now all clear. Let's spread out and untangle the rest of the octopod. How's it going out there? Uh, well, Captain, we're surrounded on all sides by dogfish. I'm not sure how much ink I have left. We need Leo out here. And first. Understood. Tweak, tentacle report, please. Well, Cap, the sleeping quarters are all clear, as are all the chutes and working areas. All that's left is... The bubble engine. That's the tangliest tangle of all. Octonauts, this will take all of us working together. No, Captain. It's too complicated. It's not even in the book. I need to do this one on my own. Vessa, what is going on? When can I live? We've just got one last tangle to take care of, and it's a big one. Tunip, I'll need you to step outside. You can do this, Peso. <laughs> <sighs> Leo, this will be over in a second, and you may feel an uncontrollable need to laugh. <laughs> Captain, we are fully untangled. Amazing work, Peso. Octonauts, prepare for Super Flush. Tweak. Hold on, everybody. Three, two, one, flush! You're going home, Leo. Flank your password! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> This one, Paso. You just in time. Ha, oh, it feels really good to be untangled. And all of your tentacles seem to be just fine. <laughs> then I think I'm ready for my sticker. Sticker too, please, Peso. Feel me? Yes, please. <laughs> Good work, Tweak. The rover cam is working perfectly. Now we can send it in to film the sea creatures living in all that seaweed. I wouldn't send anything in there if I were you, matey. Or you may never see it again. Things disappear in this part of the ocean. That's why we pirates call it the Sea of Vanishing Ships. They say it's the sea monsters that made them disappear. Slimy monsters of seaweed with long stringy fingers who like to take what's not theirs. Yow! See what I mean? Oh, that's no monster. It's a loggerhead sea turtle. 
They're great navigators, so they can find their way through anything. Tweak, can you follow it with the rover cam? You got it, Shellington. Ooh, where did he go? Looks like it's the sea of vanishing ships and sea turtles, too. Shaking. I'm picking up some underwater tremors. We've lost contact, Cap. Now it's the sea of vanishing rover cams. The rover cam hasn't vanished, Quasi. But the shaking must have damaged it. We gotta find it, Cap. I'm going in. You're not going in alone, Tweak. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going into that seaweedy mess to find Tweak's rover cam. The driving could get tricky in there. We'll take the Gup X. You got it, Cap. Tweak, Peso, and Quasi, you're with me. We'll be the first to go into the sea of vanishing ships and come back out again. If we're lucky. Shiver, whiskers, tis a jungle out there. I hope it's not the sea of vanishing octonauts. Don't worry, Peso. We won't get lost in here. With the Gulf X's mapping system, we can always find our way back to the octopod. This is where we lost contact with the rover camp. Any sign of it, Tweak? Nope, nothing yet, Cap. <gasps> There's that sea turtle again. The rover cam was following him when it broke. Let's ask if he's seen it. Yeah, he disappeared again. Over there. Let's try and catch up with him. There he goes. Here he goes. and Quasi. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. Come in. Cap? Quasi? Oh, it's no use. The radio's broken, too. Tweak? Peso? Are you all right? Mm, we've lost contact with the rest of the Gup X. You mean it's vanished? No, it's out there. We just need to find it. But first, we need to get the glider moving. Let's go out and check on the damage. <laughs> First things first, Peso. I gotta fix the Gup Connector. Gup Connector? I designed the Gup X so the different sections would always be able to find each other. Once the Gup Connector is working, it'll pull all the other parts of the Gup X back together. Along with the Captain and Quasi. That's right. Now, can you hand me a number nine spanner? Of course. <laughs> Lost its slimy seaweed. <laughs> We'll have to pull it out. Who said that? I knew it. This sea is full of ghosts. I thought you said it was full of sea monsters. That too? Oh, dear. Whatever you be, you'd best be gone. I can't. Huh? I'm stuck. Very possibly forever. Oh. <gasps> A loggerhead sea turtle. The name's Lenny, and my shell is hard enough to protect me for now, but this thing's getting really heavy. Don't worry, Lenny. We are the Octonauts, and we'll get you out safely. You may want to pull your head and flippers into your shell just to be safe. Oh, wish I could. We loggerhead sea turtles can't hide inside our shells. Our heads and flippers are too big. Then we'll have to be extra careful. Come on, Quasi. One, two, three, lift! 
I'll have this gub connector fixed faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Number two spanner, please. Number five screwdriver. Number three carrot. What's that? <gasps> the slimy seaweed monster, just like in Quasi's story. <laughs> Hold on, that's not a monster. It's our rover can. I'll be right back, Tweak. A week? Nah, it won't take a week. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. <laughs> Come back here, you! <laughs> Should do it. The gub connector is working, Peso. I'll have the gub eggs back together in no time. Huh? Peso? Yeah, got you! Uh oh. Tweak! Come in, Tweak! Can you hear me? One more time, Quasi. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh. It's hopeless. This ship isn't going anywhere. And neither am I. We're not giving up, Lenny. Yow! The gub's moving all by itself! Tweak must have repaired the gub connector. If we follow the glider, we'll find our way back. Lenny, are you all right? I suppose so, thanks to my extra hard shell. <laughs> Ow! Oh, my flipper! It hurts from being wedged in those rocks. I can't swim in this condition. You'll just have to leave me here, I suppose. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You need to see our medic. Peso, come on, we'll carry you. Hello, Tweak! Hello! Where are you? Whoa! Flappity flippers the octo ski. Tweak fixed the cup connector. Wait for us. Whoa! 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 Hey, so you found my rover cam. Thanks. You're welcome. And there's the rest of the gub eggs, right on schedule. Look, it's Captain Barnacles and Quasi. And the Loggerhead Sea Turtle is with them. Oh, no. He's hurt. This flipper splint should do the trick. Oh, it feels much better. Thanks. I guess things are looking up after all. Lenny's on the mend, the rover cam is back, and the gut X is all in one piece. Now, we just have to find our way back to the octopod. Um, Cap, I fixed up the gub connector, but I'm afraid the mapping system still doesn't work. How will we find our way out of here? Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll spend the rest of our days lost in the sea of vanishing ships. Lost? Oh, I'll never get lost. We loggerheads have a great sense of direction. I travel in and out of here all the time. You don't get confused in all this murky seaweed. Not a bit. <laughs> and now that you've fixed my flipper, I'm ready to swim. Then lead the way, Lenny. Don't mind if I do. Incredible. You've led us straight back to the octopod. Thanks, Lenny. Aye, Lenny. You're a... He vanished. Boo! Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Octonauts, this is a part of the ocean no one's ever explored before. Keep your eyes open for new and unusual creatures. Quasi, let's split up so we can cover more ground. Aye, aye, Captain. And Quasi, be careful. Ah, I'm always careful. Right, Peso? Look out! <gasps> <Whoa>! <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! What was that? Captain, Shellington, can you see this from our camera? 
looks like some sort of undersea beach ball. Actually, it appears to be a comb jelly. You mean a jellyfish? No, comb jellies are similar. But unlike jellyfish, they don't sting. Fortunately for Quasi. Quasi? Quasi. What are you? Beast or balloon? That's one giant jelly. Captain, not much is known about comb jellies. I'd love to see it in person. And I'd love to get a close-up. All right, hold on. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh no, he's hurt. Hmm, the jelly appears to have injured its comb. Comb? Yes, comb. It's made up of tiny tails that surround its body and help it swim. Hello there. Does this hurt? Hurt? Oh, sorry about that. Hurt! Hurt! Don't worry, I have just the thing for that broken comb. This waterproof ointment should make you feel better right away. Food! No, no, not food. <laughs> hey, <laughs> stop it. <gasps> oh, that tickles. The jelly not only uses its comb to swim, Peso, but also to handle food. Its little tails are tickling you. <laughs> Luckily, you're too big to be eaten. There. Feel better. Better. Later. Huh? My medical bag. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Over here, Captain. Uh, Quasi. Help. Yow! Peso, what are you doing inside that thing? Peso, inside! Inside Jelly's belly! Let him go, you bulbous beast! Wait! Don't hurt him! I'm all right. Mostly. Quasi, how did Peso get in there? Never mind that, Captain. How are we going to get him out? It may be a bit tricky. As you can see, the comb jelly is see-through. But he has several clear layers of skin surrounding a clear stomach full of water. And Peso. Go, go! No! No, go, go! No! Peso, we're trying to work out how to get you free. Stop playing around. But I'm not. Jelly, please stop. Drop! Quasi, Dashy, get the guppe. Shellington, let's go after him. I got it! Oh! Oh, he got it all right. Dashy, get me close. Closer. Yow! I've got you! I've got you! Jelly, <laughs> stop! That's my friend! Quasi cat! Catfish! No, not a catfish. He's a oh, never mind! Quasi, are you okay? Just give me whiskers a moment to stop shivering. I got him, Captain. Oh no! They're being swept away by that current of fast water. This is getting serious. Let's sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the gups. Octonauts, Peso is stuck inside a cone jelly. And the comb jelly is stuck inside a fast-moving current. Oh, my! Oh, no! <sighs> hey, so, can you hear me? Hey, so! It's no good, Captain. I'm just getting steady. Tweak, you stand by. We may need your help. Got it, Cap. And we'll follow that current. Please, let me go. Jelly, go, go! <laughs> Jelly, will you stop tickling me? We're trapped in a current and... We're going to crash! Going to splash! <laughs> I'm free! Ooh, where am I? I hope Jelly's okay. Hello, Octonauts. Can you hear me? Hello? 
I must be too far away for them to hear me. Right. I'm lost. What would Captain Barnacles do? Hmm. Hmm. I think this way is north. And if that's north, then this must be Shark. Shark! You saved me! Um, at least for now. Sorry, Captain, but there's no way of knowing which way the jelly went. Hmm. We may need to bring in more gups to track Peso down, but by the time they get here, Peso could be even further away. Captain, I have another idea. Oh, Peso, me poor little penguin pal. Don't worry. I'll hunt that see-through scallywag across the seven seas and back again if I have to. Quasi. Even if it takes months. Quasi. Even if it takes years. Even if it takes... It. Quasi. Dashi may have found a way to find Peso. Well, why didn't you say so? Let's go. This is no time to sit around talking. Peso must be too far away to talk to us on his helmet radio, but if I use the gut finder map to find his radio, maybe I can make... There he is! A Peso finder. Good work, Dashi. Yow! Let's go after him. Full speed ahead. That is, when you say so, Captain. Full speed ahead. Jelly, we have to get away. Big fishy want to play? Ah, no, this isn't a game. <laughs> you know, Jelly, I'm beginning to think you're enjoying this jam we're in. Jelly, a jam! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. We need to hide. Hide inside. Inside? Inside what? <laughs> Actually, I said, whoa, not... Oh, wow. You can glow. Glow! Glow! It looks like he's falling down some sort of tunnel. Then let's head down with him. According to your peso finder, he should drop out of that hole any moment. Octonauts, we don't have much time, so here's the plan. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Uh, <laughs> Back of the net. <sighs> Phew. Fun, fun. I guess it was kind of fun. Your comb looks better already. Again! Again! <laughs> Sorry, Jelly. I think I've had enough fun for one day. Maybe enough for a week. Time for a picture. It's a shame it's so dark down here. Oh, wow! Wow! wow. Jumping jellyfish! Uh, I mean, jumping comb jelly! He's like a floating light show. Jelly glue! Good work, Peso. Looks like you found a new creature. And a new friend. Say Jelly! <laughs> jelly! Captain, there's outside. I saw a. Oh, what 
What's all the commotion about? There's something out there. Something big. Really big? I saw it. It's huge. It's white. And it made a noise like... Whoa. Captain, look at this. I managed to snap a picture of... whatever's out there. That's it. That's what I saw. What on earth could it be? It's as big as a whale, but whales are usually dark greyish. Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak? If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap! Scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast, strange heat patterns are coming from that pink colored reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. And then we better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. What? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! 
What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino. It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. A school of squid. We'll go around them. At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them. What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonaut. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more. And finished. Huh, a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect! Quasi, Peso, have you had any luck finding seaweed samples for Shellington? Hi, Captain. I'd say we've got every colour of seaweed there is. I can't wait to study each one under the microscope. We'll be there with your seaweed just as fast as we can, matey. See you back at the octopod. Barnacles out. What do you say we go a wee bit faster to get home? Maybe a little faster would be OK. <laughs> Something's wrong. She's stuck. I can't slow her down or make her stop. Rocks! Huh? I'm... I'm okay. Are you? 
Aye, but our radio isn't. And the octopod is too far away for us to call them on our helmet radios. Well, matey, the first thing to do is get out and take a look at the gun. Ah, there's a bunch of seaweed stuck in the propeller. I'll pull it out. Let me help. <laughs> Got it! Oh, no! No worries. I'll go down and grab the gup finder off the gup. We'll use it to let Captain Barnacles know where we are. So he'll be able to come and save us. Good idea. Is everything okay down there? <sighs> ah, got it! Yes! Now! Give that back, you scurvy dog! Fish! Stop! That's our gup finder! <sighs> now what? Now? We find land. <gasps> land! Come on! Quasi and Peso should be back by now. I'm on it, Captain. Octopod to Quasi and Peso. Their radio's not working, Captain. Activate the gup finder. It'll show us where they are. Hmm. The gup finder shows that they're heading away from the octopod. But they said they'd come home right away. Something's wrong. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi and Peso's radio is broken, and the Gup Finder is showing that they're heading away from the octopod. Oh my, they could be lost or in trouble. Professor, I'm going after them. The guppy is ready to go, Cap. Squeak, open the octo hatch. You got it, Cap. I wonder if there's anyone on this island who can help us. Doesn't look like it. Visitors! Hey! <laughs> Hello and welcome. Huh? <clears throat> Down here, my friends. Down here. Welcome to the island where the breeze is cool, the sand is warm, and the fish can walk. Well spotted, my friend. Most fish can't walk on land, but I'm not most fish. I'm a comb tooth Blenny. You can call me Blenny for short. <laughs> Who are you? We're the Octonauts. I'm Peso. And I'm Quasi. We need to get back home to the octopod as soon as possible. Too bad you can't stay for a while. I was just getting warmed up. See you around. It could take Captain Barnacles a while to find us here, if he could find us at all. Don't worry me, hearty. I learned how to get off a desert island back in me pirate days. All we have to do is build a raft and sail away. Let's do it. I'm almost caught up with them. Where's the gup E? Huh? What's that dogfish got? You've got the gup finder. But that means Quasi and Peso could be anywhere. Time to set sail. Leaving already? Well, till we meet again. Goodbye, me hearty. Nice to meet you. Heave-ho, matey! Uh. Uh. Looking good! Ha-ha! Uh-oh, uh -oh. we're sinking! Yow. Oh! <sighs> Our raft is gone! This is a disaster. Don't worry, Peso. 
I'll think of something else. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we could send a message for help. That's impossible, me hearty. We've got no radio, no gut finder, nothing. We just need a messenger. We can't get off the island, but we can send a message with someone who can. Huh? Blenny, would you deliver a message to Captain Barnacles on the Octopod and tell them where we are, please? I'd love to, but Blennies like me don't go in deep water. We have to stay in the shallow water around the island, you know? But what if you swim out just far enough to pass the message along to someone else? Hey, that's a great idea. Consider it done, my friends. See? I told you I'd think of something. <sighs> Well, this is about as deep as I can go. Oh, hey, excuse me, Bluefish, spare a minute. Oh, hello. Hi, I need to get a message to the deep. Tell Captain Barnacles that there are two octonauts named Quasi and Peso, and they're stuck on a desert island. I can't swim too deep, but I can pass along the word to some folks who can. Thanks, you're a pal. Hello there, Giant Squid. Can I ask you a favour, please? I need to pass on a message. Tell Captain Barnacles, two Octobots named Crazy and Pesto are stuck in the desert. Need some help? All right, I'll tell me friends. Oh, do? Got any news? Aye, Anglerfish. Tell Captain Farnacles that some octagons named Lazy and Ernesto are stuck in some dessert. Go as deep as you can and pass it on. Oh, right. Will do. Huh? What's that? Here. Gotta get a message to Napkin Carbuncles about some octagons named Hay and Presto. They've deserted, or they're stuck, or something like that. Anyway, pass it on. Octagons stuck? Maybe he meant octonauts. Wait, uh, can you lead me to these octagons? I mean, octonauts? Afraid not, but I can put you in touch with the giant squid what told me about it. Then lead the way. <laughs> The sun is setting. Aye, matey. And it looks like we might have to spend the night here. Or maybe not, my friends. Look! We're oh, over oh, here! Matey. We're over here! Well, I'm looking for a couple of octagons named Hay and Presto. Huh? So the message got a little messed up, but it worked! <laughs> We're going home! Thank you, Blenny. No problem. Remember, you can count on me to help you out on land or sea. Just drop me a fishing line, call me on my shell phone, or sea mail me. <laughs> Fascinating. Those baby gators must have just hatched. Are you sure we're safe? Alligators can be dangerous, but as long as we keep our distance, they won't bother us. I don't know. They look like big green swamp monsters to me. Oh, they're not monsters, Quasi. Look how tenderly that mother gator cares for her babies. Shiver me whiskers! She's eating one of them! No, that's how a mother gator carries her baby. She's returning it to the nest, safe and sound. Hmm. Well, I still think they might be swamp monsters. <sighs> Come on, it's getting late. Let's head back to the octopod and get some sleep. Aye, aye, Captain. Whoa! Would you look at this place? 
guys. Yeah, stay back, you swamp monster. Yeah. Shiver me whiskers. A baby swamp monster. I mean, a, a baby gator. That's me tail. And I'm rather attached to it, if you don't mind. Sorry, mister. It looked like a big fuzzy worm. What in the seven seas are you doing here, little matey? I took a nap in the mouth of that big metal gator thingy. The gup K? I guess. The next thing I knew, I was here. What is this place? This here's the Octopod. And my name's Quasi. Pleased to meet you. I'm Nipper. You sure are. Oh. What's in here? Careful there, that's me. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh, hell, what's this for? Ow! Slow down, Nipper. I'll get Captain Barnacles, and we're going to take you back to your mum. Oh, can I stay a little while? Please, pretty please. I like it here. Well, the captain is still sleeping. I guess I can tell him when he wakes up. Yippee! Whoa! This looks tasty! You must be hungry. Let's go and get you some breakfast. Let's see. We've got kelp cakes, kelp kebabs, and a big bag of kelp marshmallows. Nipper, where'd you go? Uh oh! <laughs> What do you think you're doing? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare him. I just wanted a drink of water. All right, Nipper. Now I think we'd better go and wake Captain Barnacles. Oh, where does this go? <coughs> Wait, come back! Oh, nothing like going swimming first thing in the morning. Nipper, hold on! <laughs> He can't give this pirate the slip. All right, matey, enough fun and games. Time to... Hey, what's this do? Gotcha. The open ocean's no place for you, Nipper. I can take care of myself. I'm an alligator. You're a little alligator. And there'd be plenty of big ocean creatures that'd love a tasty gator snack. Did someone say snack? Like that one. Yeah. Whoa! Who's Nipper? A baby alligator, of course. A baby alligator? Never mind. Just stay put, Quasi. We'll find you. Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, Quasi and uh, a baby alligator are lost somewhere out in the ocean. A baby what? Alligator. His name's Nipper. But how did you be... It's a long story, matey. The important thing is that we find them and bring them back. I don't see them on the map. He must be pretty far away. Quasi, do you have any idea where you are? We're somewhere in a big, rocky reef. Oh, they're not alone. There are a lot of hungry creatures out here. And they'd all like a piece of Nipper. Hungry predators aren't the only danger. The ocean is made of salt water, and Nipper is used to freshwater swamps without salt. I thought alligators could swim in the ocean. Crocodiles can, but alligators can't. And Nipper is an alligator. They're two different species. Crocodiles can get rid of the salt water they drink, but alligators can't. If alligators stay in salt water too long, they get very, very sick. Oh, he's 
Rob, I don't feel so good. Quasi, get Nipper to the surface. You must hold him out of the water. Hi, Captain. Stand by. Whoa! Double whoa! Seagull snack. Seagull snack. I saw him there. Uh, ah, yeah! Get back, you feather dying bill traps! Well, I want my mama! The surface is no good either, Captain. We need to get this little gator to fresh water first. How can we get Nipper back to fresh water if we don't even know where they are? Actually, there might be a way to solve both problems at once. According to the map, there are several freshwater springs on the ocean floor nearby. Fresh water in the ocean? Yes. At these springs, fresh water bubbles up from the seafloor and rises to the surface. We don't know where Quasi is, but we do know where the springs are. If we mark each spring by putting coloured tracer dye in the water... Then Quasi could see them from a distance. And then all he has to do is take Nipper to the nearest spring and keep him in the fresh water until we can rescue them. Exactly. And the dye won't hurt any creatures living nearby? No. Nope. These tracer dye tablets are 100% creature safe. Great idea, Professor. Octonauts, to the guts. <laughs> Dropping red. Green. Orange. And yellow. All the tracer dyes are in place. Just look for the bubbles of colored water. <laughs> That's a fresh water spring. Head towards it and we'll pick you up from there. Oh, it's so far. I don't think I can make it. Just hang on a bit longer, matey. I'll get us there. Oh, sharks! Ooh, a wee snack for a big shark. Nothing's gonna stop me. Shiver me whiskers. We've got a real mob on our tail. Yeah. A real hungry mob! A boss! If you want this little nipper, you're gonna have to go through me! <laughs> That's all the snack time is over. <gasps> they're leaving! But why? Because they're saltwater fish, and the freshwater spring leaves a bad taste in their mouths. Here's something a little tastier for your mouth. Fish biscuits. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, don't come back, you scallywags! <laughs> That's telling him, Quasi. <sighs> I'm feeling better already. I think it's time we took you back to your mother. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing my dear little nipper back. I was worried sick. Man, you should have seen it. There were scary sharks and eels and seagulls. But Quasi and I, we fought them off together. We sure showed them. Yeah, they were so cool. So, still think they're swamp monsters? Nah, they're all right in my book. No! <laughs> nipper? <laughs> <laughs> Screwdriver. Carrot. Thanks, Vegemals. Is the gup A ready to go, Tweak? It sure is, Cap. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, today our mission is to travel to the bottom of the sea and add a new page to Shellington's book. This is an unfinished guide to the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone? It sounds dark and scary. 
It is, me hearty. The Midnight Zone is a place so deep that the sun never shines there. In this book, I describe many amazing creatures from the Midnight Zone. A limpet, a tube worm, a vent fish. At the end, however, there are these empty pages. It's our job to fill these empty pages with a creature no one's ever seen before. And since it's so dark down there, I added these extra lights to the Guff A to help you see. When the lights on the Guff flash, you're running out of power and you need to come back up right away. Shellington, Peso and Quasi, put on your deep sea suits. Ready? Ready, Ready Captain. Captain. Open the Octahatch, Tweak. Right away, Captain. It's not dark yet. That's because we're still up in the sunlight zone. Are we there yet? It's rather dark. No, we're now entering the twilight zone. And the midnight zone is even deeper and darker. Even deeper and darker? Octonauts, we have entered the Midnight Zone. It's really dark down here. Let's turn on the special deep sea lights. It's awfully quiet down here. Captain, what's that sound? That's just our propeller, Peso. It always makes that sound. What about that? There's something very hot up ahead. Shiver me whiskers! Is that... smoke? <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! We found some hydrothermal vents. What's a hydrothermal vent? It's like an underwater volcano. That's very hot water pouring out of the top. Helmets, everybody. This is the perfect place to find a creature that's never been seen before. Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Ready. Oh, Captain! Have you found something, Shellington? <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> I found a limpet, but that's nothing new. And these are tube worms. They only live in the midnight zone. They're fascinating, but they're not new. Huh? Over here! Yow! It looks big. It's... It's... It's only rocks. Sorry, Shellington. Huh? That's a vent fish. It's not a new creature either, I'm afraid. Let's keep looking, Octonauts. Shellington, what are these holes? Interesting. I found a rock before with holes exactly like this. But I've never discovered what made the holes. Let's dig up a rock sample. I'll get the rock cutter. Allow me. Uh, thanks. I'll take it from here. No, I broke the rock sample. Oh! No problem. I can get a good look inside it now. Maybe something's living in here. Hmm, I don't see anything. Where's the other piece? Got it. Octonauts, the power on the Gup A is getting low. We should go. But I still haven't found a new creature. We'll have to come back another time, Shellington. Everyone to the Gup. So, 
Did you find a creature nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. Uh -huh. mm. yes. <gasps> I think there's something alive in here. Where am I? You're on the octopod. <gasps> My house. It's broken. No worries, little guy. We can put your house back together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Okay, but hurry. I'm freezing. And this light hurts my eyes. You live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot. The octopod must seem very strange to you. Oh, I want to go home. Tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the midnight zone as fast as we can. In the meantime, we'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. Wrong. Okay, let me try again. Wrong. Hold on. Yep. That ought to do it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. Hmm. You know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashie can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. Perfect. Fantastic. I'll use some sticky limpet glue to hold it together. Good as new. I need a picture. Say seaweed. Seaweed. Now we'll take you back home, where it's nice and dark. I can't wait. Octonauts, come down and visit any time. Peso? We have a new friend in the Midnight Zone. It may be dark down here, but it's not scary anymore, Captain. And you have your own page in my book now. Sweet. Thanks again, and see you later. Bye-bye. That gator was the last swamp creature that needed our help today. Time for us to head back home. <gasps> Peso, Shellington, look at this. There are all sorts of holes in the swamp floor. Hmm. Those holes look like crawfish burrows. They dig them with their claws. It's like a little village. Oh, oh. oh. Flappity flippers! What are they doing? Oh, boy! Our shells is itchy. We use any pin we can to scratch these itches. Let me see if I can help. Their shells are covered in spots. What do you make of it, Peso? I've heard of this. It's called shell rot, but I've never seen cases this bad before. Someone must have made everybody else sick. Have any of you recently travelled outside your village? No way, no how. We stay put. It's safer for us that way. Did any strangers recently come through your village? Well, now that you mention it, there was a stranger what come true a few days back. 
was right after that folks started getting the spots and all sick like. Do you remember what he looked like? Mm. He was a strange looking feller. Strange looking in what way? Oh, lots of ways, I suspect. I didn't pay much, never mind. Truth told, the swamp was so muddy that day, couldn't hardly see my claw in front of me. Plus, I was just falling off into my nap. Oh, I can't even take a nice nap on account of these terrible itches. Every single crawfish is sick here. This is a major medical emergency. Peso to Captain Barnacles. This is Barnacles. We've got a whole village of crawfish here with itchy spots on their shells. I think you'd better... Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> village of crawfish has come down with a case of strange, itchy spots. Captain, we've got to cure the crawfish and keep them from spreading the spots to other parts of the swamp. Ah, sounds like an all-hands-on-deck situation. Yes, indeed. Every octonaut and vegemal is needed. To the swamp! <laughs> all right, everyone. We'll need to split into three teams. Peso, Shellington and Inkling, you set up a medical tent to treat the sick crawfish. Dashy and Tweak, you and the vegetables make sure nobody enters or leaves the village. This'll keep the sickness from spreading. Wazi, you and I will search the swamp to find the mystery creature who made everyone sick in the first place. Octonauts, let's do this. All right, Vegemals. Our job is to keep a sickness from spreading if we can. Just hang on to this rope Stay put, and don't let anyone get past it. Got it? Ooh. Super chicken! We need to try and find a cure for the shell rot, and quickly. The poor crawfish are really itchy. Oh boy, that's the truth. You can poke around my shell all you want if it help you find a way to stop this itching. It appears that the shell rot is caused by a fungus, extremely fast growing. No wonder it spreads so quickly. Excellent work. The shell rot is caused by a fungus. A fungus? There a fungus among us? There's a fungus among us! There's a fungus! No yes! And we need to find a cure. Luckily, I have just the thing. Anti-fungus cream. <gasps> Something moving. Straight ahead, Captain. It's another crawfish with spots. Since he's out here, he mustn't be from the village. Meaning there's a good chance he's the outsider that spread the shell rot to the other crawfish. Uh, uh, excuse us, we need to talk to you. Please come out, we're here to help. Uh, uh, only help we need is with this itching. Uh, the missus got it too. Let me guess. A stranger came through a few days back. Next thing you know, you all ended up with those itchy spots. Now, how do you know that? Well, the same thing happened to some other crawfish nearby. Can you tell us what the stranger looked like? He was big. You got swamp mud in your eye or something. He was tiny, but he did swim fast. Now, the missus here, she don't always get facts right. The truth is, he swam slow. It was fast. Excuse me, is there anything that you both agree on about this stranger? Yeah, he was kind of furry. Would you agree, missus? Well, yeah. Maybe more like hairy than furry. At least what I saw of him, seeing as how he was swimming so fast. Um, right, yes, thank you. We'll be back to help as soon as we find a cure. <sighs> a lot of good that did us. Well, they both agreed he was hairy or furry. That gives us something to go on. I wonder how Peso's getting on with a cure. And now some anti-fungus cream for you. Oh. Oh. So far, it's so good. None of them seem to be itching anymore. Oh. 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 Uh, never mind. I don't know what else to try. The anti-fungus cream usually works. Ah. I wonder if the muddy water the crawfish swim in is part of the problem. Perhaps it would help to wash them with fresh, clean water. It's worth a try. Tweak, come in, Tweak. Can you spare a couple of the vegetables to run an errand? Sure can. Tunip, Kaddish? I just need them to go to the octopod and bring back some fresh water from the kitchen sink. You got it, Peso. Hear that? Fresh water. You got it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> 
mystery critter up ahead, Captain. And he's a furry one. Bet it's that scallywag we're looking for. Let's find out. Wait! Hold it right there, matey! Yeah. Easy now. We're looking for a creature who's been spreading shell rot around the swamp. Someone furry, like you. Spreading shell rot? <laughs> I'm a nutria. I don't even have a shell. And he doesn't have any spots either. Oh, he, but yeah. <laughs> Something's tickling me feet. Hey! Hey, yourself. Oh, he's getting away. Stop you! Did you see the crab shell, Captain? Covered with spots. And her claws were furry looking. She must be the one we've been looking for. Uh-oh. Looks like she's heading back towards the crawfish village. Why? She's already given everyone their shell rot. Something tells me she has no idea where she's heading. I think she's lost. Well done, you two. Fresh water straight from the octopod sink. Now let's see if the fresh water has any effect on the shell rot spots. <laughs> yeah! <coughs> this here water sold you! Indeed. Well, it spilled. <laughs> and you refilled it with water from the launch bay pool. <laughs> but that's ocean salt water, not fresh water. I'm so sorry. I know you crawfish only live in fresh water, never salt water. Oh, your spots. They're looking better. And I don't hardly feel none of that itchiness no more. Jump, jellyfish. The salt water dip seems to be the cure we've been seeking for the shell rot fungus. It's going away. Super cows. <laughs> Dashy, tweak. Round up every crawfish villager you can find and bring them here for treatment. <laughs> We found a cure for the crawfish. Wonderful. But Peso, there's a strange crab heading your way. Think she's the creature that caused the shell rot to begin with. Oh, no. She could make everybody sick all over again. We have to catch her and cure her, too. We're working on it. Wait. There she is, Captain. Uh, I can't take it, I tell you. Oh, I can't take this chin. Easy now. We're here to help. Well... How about that? A Chinese mitten crab. She's not from the swamp at all. She's what we call an invasive species, Captain. She doesn't belong here. It's true. I'm a long way from home. Poor thing. She must have picked up the shell rot in her travels and spread it to the crawfish when she passed through. I didn't mean to. You think I like having this? Oh, I just want to get rid of this itch and find my way home. I think we can help on both counts. Ooh, oh. Thank you, folks, for curing us of all them itches. Oh, me too. Feels so good to be rid of that itch. There's no more fungus among us. Actually, there's still a little fungus among us. Two last patients for you, Peso. Yeah, the, the missus can go first. She's got the most spots. I've got the most spots. You've got the most spots. Now, well, that's me. Hold still, Mr. Lobster. There, good as new. Ah, thanks, mate. Dashy to Peso. Come in, Peso. There's a storm heading your way, and it looks like a big one. Thanks, Dashy. I'll head back to the octopod right away. That's the problem. The storm's moving fast. You won't make it back here in time. Peso, your best option is to get in the gup E and find a safe place to wait it out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll check back in when the storm passes. Stay safe, Peso. It'll be safe down here. Come on. Good idea. I'll just get the guppy. Oh, no. <laughs> Captain, come in, Captain. Out the storm. <sighs> well, 
It's kept us safe for many, many years. Who said that? Good day, mate. Flappity flippers. <laughs> There's no need to be frightened. It's only us tree lobsters. Tree lobsters? Now, now, give him space, fellas. <laughs> we don't get guests up here very often. I'm old Howie, at your service. I'm Peso. I am... You actually live up here. Yeah, of course. But it's a giant rocky spike in the middle of the ocean. Ah, oh, you must be wondering how we got here. Well, <laughs> actually, I can't seem to remember. It all happened so long ago, you see. But uh, we've made a happy little home for ourselves up here. How many of you are there? Only 24 at the last count. Oh, hi. Hi. But once these eggs hatch, there'll be a few more. Oh. <sighs> oh, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Oh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Mm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the Octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times, and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Peso, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on. Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. <laughs> a tree lobster? Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew we'd find them. Listen to this. Lord Howe's Island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! Ow! A baby tree lobster. I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. Yow! He's getting away! Yow! Quasi, Peso, what's going on? There's a real life tree lobster loose on the ship! We have to catch him, Captain! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonaut to the H. Uh, no, um, Octonaut to the lodge! Um, follow that tree lobster! <laughs> Incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Ha-ha! <laughs> we knew that tree lobsters were real, didn't we, Peso? <laughs> He's heading for the kitchen. Watch out, vegetables!
lift it up slowly, Tunip. We don't want to startle him. <laughs> Looks like he's heading for the garden pod. Let's go. I don't see the little guy anywhere, Cap. Keep looking. He's got to be around here somewhere. Huh? <sighs> Under a plant. Just like home. Oh, all that running must have tired him out. He's sound asleep. We need to get him back to his home on Bull's Pyramid. Peso, quasi, to the Gup A. Wake up, little fella. You're home. <coughs> you mean you climbed up there all by yourself, Peso? I did have a little help from a huge wave. Well, we'll be getting a little help from these climbing claws. Oh. Hold on, little fella. <laughs> Shouldn't be much further now. I think the shrub is just a... Whoa. I've got you, matey. And I've got you. <laughs> Good catch, Captain. The shrub. Kind of scraggy little thing, isn't it? This is where the tree lobsters live, Peso. Yes, but where are they? <sighs> Peso! Old Howie! Huh? <laughs> You're back! And you brought little Howie Jr. with you. <laughs> Oh, we were so worried. But where were you? Well, sleeping, of course. We tree lobsters are nocturnal. We only come out at night. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. That's why no one's ever seen you before. Peso, this is an incredible discovery. You'll notice that our tribe has grown. Number 25 and 26 hatch today, and Howie Jr. here makes 27. Keep an eye on Howie Jr. He's a lively one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing him back to us. Won't you all stay the night as our guests? We'd be honoured, but we should head back home before it gets dark. Goodbye, old Howie. Goodbye, tree lobsters. Um, how do we get down from here, anyway? I think you're going to like this part, Quasi. Octonauts. <laughs> Octonauts, our mission here is complete. Dashi, prepare to launch the octopod. I'm on it, Captain. Captain, there's something wrong with the ship. It's... Whoa! 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 <coughs> Tweak, any idea what just happened? I've already found the problem, Cap. It's the bubble converter. It's broken, and the octopod can't take off without it. Can't you just make a new one, matey? I could, but that would take days. Or months. Months? <laughs> it looks like we don't have days or months. We've got to do something now. There is one other bubble converter. Ah, you mean... Uh-huh. Uh, of course, the old octopod. The old octopod? What old octopod? Uh... Did we not mention this is actually the second octopod? Uh, no, matey. I think I'd remember another octopod. Oh, well, then this here's the new octopod. But way back when, before we were even the octonauts, there was an old octopod. It never did work quite right. Well, we crashed it. But when we came back to fix it... It had become an artificial reef, home to hundreds of creatures. So we had to leave it where it was. The old octopod should still have a working bubble converter. Then there's no time to lose. To the Gup A. 
Dashie, keep an eye on the ship. We'll be back as soon as we can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everybody, this way. Now, back this way. Chopper, chopper. There it is. The old octopod. Shiver me whiskers. I much prefer the new one. Activate helmets. We're going in. The quickest way in is through the manual steering pod. But how are we going to get in, Captain? Ah, I know a little trick. <laughs> wow. It's just like home. Only not. Only very not. Only very, very not. This is not how I left these chairs. Tweak, we don't have much time. Uh, right. The bubble converter should be in here. It'll just take a minute, Cap. A fast! What was that? <gasps> I didn't see anything. But there was something. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Ta-da! And it looks like it's in great shape. Well, that was easy. <laughs> or not. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Something grabbed the bubble converter right out of my paw. I told you there was something in here. Whatever it is, it has our bubble converter. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, Kip, this one doesn't work. Oh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, are you there? Right here, Captain. Octonauts, I'm afraid this mission is taking longer than expected. There's something aboard this ship, and it's just stolen the bubble converter. Whoa! Um, is everything all right there? Um, everything's under control, Captain. Oh, and we're getting quite a workout. Oh. Hang in there. We're moving as fast as we can. Octonauts, let's split up and find that thief. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange. Whatever you are. I'm in the game pod, mateys. Just a volleyball. Cut it out! You just cut it out! Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls. Who can throw eight balls at once? I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. <laughs> This is scary. A library with no books. Huh. We must have left one behind. Whoa! Oh. What on earth? Captain, I saw some attack me with volleyball. Came out of nowhere. Uh, Captain, what are you doing on the floor? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, something just grabbed me. We better get to the bottom of this. Come in, Shellington. We need help identifying a mysterious creature. <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What can you tell me about it? Well, it's got tentacles. And it can throw eight things at once. And it squirts ink. And it's orange. Hmm. Oh, sounds like a giant Pacific octopus. I agree. My Pacific cousins are the largest species of octopus. And they often make their homes in old abandoned ships. <laughs> well, how about that? I modeled the octopod after the giant Pacific octopus, and now there's one living in it. Yeah, but why did it steal our converter? It was probably just curious. Giant Pacific octopuses are very clever, and they always investigate new things. Hmm. Then maybe we can give it something new to be curious about. This ought to get its attention.
attention. And then, when it comes to investigate, we'll get our converter. Everybody, into position. Lights out. Look! It's huge! Shh! Just a little closer. Now! <laughs> Stay alert, everyone! It might make a swim for it! Yeah. It escaped! And it got the flashlight out of the jar! But where did it go? Easy now. We're not going to hurt you. Search everywhere. Ah, no sign of the eight-armed scallywag. She has to be in here somewhere. Ink. Ah, hello there. Stay back. Don't make me ink you again, you invaders. Invaders? Us? Yes, this is my home. I'd arranged everything just the way I like it, and I don't appreciate you barging in without permission and moving everything around. We're sorry. We only came for our bubble converter. This thing? It was in my home, so it's mine. Hmm. You are absolutely right. We didn't realize you were living here. Perhaps you'd be willing to trade it for something new. Huh? Mm. 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 You have yourself a deal, young fellow. How about we shake on that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the new bubble converted did the trick. How's it feel, Cap? The octopod's running perfectly, Tweak. I'm just glad we're not running anymore. Look, we're passing the old octopod now. Hmm? Looks like you left the light on. <laughs> Everybody wave. Goodbye. 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 See ya. <laughs> Octonauts, tonight we have a very special dinner guest. Dashi? Everyone, I'd like you to meet my little sister, Kashi. Uh, <laughs> Kashi? Oh, sorry. I'm on the very last page of a Donna Doxy mystery, The Case of the Curious Cuckoo Clock. Once you start a Donna Doxy book, it's really hard to stop. Who's Donna Doxy? The detective undaunted by danger. <laughs> She's the main character in a series of mystery books. They were my favourite growing up. Dashie gave her whole collection to me. All 100 books. I've read 54 of them. 55 when I finish this one. I love a good mystery too, me hearty. Donna Doxy's taught me all kinds of tricks for solving mysteries. Oh? Like what, matey? Well, I can tell a lot about a person by looking closely. Take you, for instance. We've only just met, but your eye patch and the tiny piece of your ear that's missing... Tell me you've been in some dangerous situations. I'd say you're reckless but brave. Hmm. And from the way your tail keeps twitching, I'd also say you're not very patient. Uh, oh. <laughs> Amazing! You've described Quasi perfectly. And one more thing. There's a trace of pudding on your paw. You must have snuck in a little dessert before your dinner. <laughs> wow. Good job, Kashi. That was incredible. She's good. Possibly too good. It's pretty hard to get anything past my little sister, right, Kashi? Uh, <laughs> except when she's reading. <laughs> Right, you ready for the best sister sleepover readathon ever? I'm ready. Which one do you want to read first, Dashie? 
Oh, um, oh, the case of the disappearing camera. It's one of my favourites. are missing. It was horrible. Something monstrous taught her our lovely kelp forest home and now my babies are gone. <laughs> we need to find those baby sea snails and fast. Octonauts to the kelp forest. Captain Barnacles, can I help too? Um... Kashi is very good at working out clues. I notice you're always wearing that uniform, which means you're always ready for the next mission. Me too, sir. All right then, Kashi. Everyone, let's do this! Dashi, what is that? Just orcas. We see them around a lot here this time of year. Uh, come on now, we have to keep up. There, that's right where my babies were. Peso, see if you can find any creatures who saw what happened. Shellington, Dashi, and Kashi, you look for clues right here. Quasi, we'll search the nearby kelp for baby snails. This kelp is torn and crushed. The whole area almost looks like a giant footprint. Let's measure it. It's as big as a bus. Somebody must have seen what caused this mess. It's too huge to miss. So, you say you saw a strange creature in the kelp? Sure as my shell I did. Big fella, bumpy all over. No way. That thing was smooth, not bumpy. Um, thank you, I think. I didn't see the thing, but I heard it make a creaky noise. No, it was a bellowing sound. Creaky. Bellowing. I heard it going snoot, snoot, snoot. Flappity flippers. Everyone describes the creature differently. This is going to be a hard mystery to solve. Captain, did you find my babies? Not yet, but don't worry, we'll find them. Did anyone see who took the baby sea snails? We're looking for a creature who's bumpy but also smooth and it makes a creaking, bellowing or snorting sound. Those are all different things. That doesn't help much, matey. Well, we know for sure that the creature is big. It left a huge print in the kelp. Much of the forest nearby was crushed down or torn away. The baby snails could have been carried away on a piece of torn kelp. <gasps> My babies! But where did the creature take them? Creature? I'd say we're looking for a monster. A kelp monster. Whatever it is, we've got to find it. But be careful, everyone. There's something big and possibly dangerous out there. No sign of any creature or snails. Sure is quiet. Shadowy. With lots of places to hide. The kelp monster! He's just a ray. They normally live here, and he's not big enough to be the creature. Right. I knew that. Look! Torn kelp! And there's more over here! And here! Now this could lead us to... Ah! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Why are you sneaking up on me? Why are you hiding in the kelp? I'm not hiding. I'm floating. And it was very relaxing until you swam right into me. How big is he? Not as big as a bus. What do you mean, bus? I'm a harbour seal. Sorry to have bothered you, Mr. Harbour Seal. Ah, it's all right. You two are strange, but you're not the strangest thing I've bumped into tonight. What else have you bumped into? Well, uh, like I said, it was strange. It was big. It nearly knocked me over when it scraped itself along the sea floor, left behind a big hole. A hole? Yeah, you can see it for yourself on the other side of this kelp. Thanks. Let's go. Now that is unusual, and it might be a clue. Dashi, look! Shells! But not snail shells, barnacle shells. These shells belong to little creatures called barnacles that are usually attached to rocks or even other creatures. And look! They lead in there! 
It's definitely a clue. As Donna Doxy says, we're hot on the trail. The trail just ends. Oh, I was so sure we were onto something. Snort! <laughs> Bella. Creak! Huh? Nothing to see here. Just a big clump of kelp. Is that a whale? Yes, a grey whale. You can tell because he has bumps on his back instead of a dorsal fin. So he's bumpy, but also smooth. Just like the crab and urchin said. And he's making all the noises they mentioned too. <laughs> Mystery solved. The kelp monster that took the baby snails was you. A grey whale. Uh, oh, I uh, don't know what you're talking about. I'm just kelp. Kelp doesn't talk. Oh, OK, maybe not. But please don't give away my disguise. I'm hiding from a pod of orca whales. They want to eat me. Where'd that great whale go? Let's not go for real. Oh. We won't give you away. Promise. But we'd like to check you for baby snails. They may have gotten caught up in your kelp disguise. Oh, uh, go ahead then. There they are! Oh, sorry about that. I didn't know I had any creatures on my head. Oh, let's get you back to your mum. Oh, my precious little babies. I was so worried. How did you find them? By following the clues. First we discovered a spiked up part of the seafloor. Then we tracked a trail of barnacle shells to the end, where we heard a spooky noise. That's when we found the grey whale accidentally carrying the snails. Now it all makes sense. Grey whale snouts are covered with barnacles. He must have left the trail of shells by scraping his mouth along the seafloor to eat. But where is the whale? Hiding. Really? Grey whales usually travel to warmer water this time of year. There's a pod of orcas after him, and they'd like to eat him. Oh. Only me! This kelp forest is a safe place for me to hide. I think we can help you. Our whale tracker shows that the orcas are gone. Oh, what a relief. Um, before I go, can I ask one last favour? There's a piece of kelp stuck in my blowhole. Would you mind? Oh, this will make the perfect souvenir for our case. <sighs> Thank you for all your help. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, how about finishing up our Donna Doxy readathon? I've got a better idea. Instead of reading a mystery, let's write one. It's about two sisters who team up to solve cases. The little sister is the brains of the team. <laughs> Shellington to Captain Barnacles. I'm heading up the river on my research mission. I can't wait to observe the nighttime behaviour of the African river creatures. It is very exciting. Safe travels, Shellington. Okay, Dashy, let's power down for the night. Already on it, Captain. Night, Dashy. Night, Pesa. Night, Quasi. Night, Captain. to Shellington. It sounds like there's a wild animal in there with it. Shellington, do you read me? <laughs> Quasi, peso, to the gup A. We're heading up the river to rescue Shellington. We're picking up a signal on the gup finder, Captain. Aye, it's the gup E for sure. The gup E should be right here. Listen, it's the wild animal. And it's coming from over there. Quasi, <laughs> wait. This could be dangerous. We'll go together. Shellington! Oh. 
Captain? Quasi? Peso? What are you doing? What am I? It, oh, I must have fallen asleep while watching the nighttime creatures. <laughs> oh, well, next time, try not to fall asleep on the Octo Alert button. Huh? Oh, <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> It's okay. We're just glad you're all right. Now, let's head back home. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day, mateys. Sun is shining, rivers nice and peaceful. Um, maybe not so peaceful. <laughs> Turn back while you can. Some really scary guys up ahead. Hmm? What sort of scary guys? There's your answer, Captain. Crocs. They don't come any meaner and scarier. Yes, but the crocodiles seem to be minding their own business. You better beat it. Here they come. Shellington, over here. Something's coming. Hippos? Ha! That's what everyone's afraid of. Those scallywags look like nothing but big slow coaches. <laughs> Sleepy slow coaches. They're kind of sweet. They might look that way, but hippos can be very, very dangerous. Whoa! Yeah. I see what you mean. They're extremely protective of their territory in the river and do not like strangers. Those big teeth and crushing jaws could certainly do some damage to the gups. So how do we get past them? Very carefully. Follow my lead. Lucky for us, they're fast asleep after a long night of grazing on grass. I don't think so, matey. Not unless they're sleepwalking and sleep swimming. That's exactly what they're doing. Since hippos are so heavy, they sink to the bottom while asleep and then float to the surface every now and then to breathe, and all without waking up. Let's try to keep it that way. Incoming from above, Captain. And another rising up from below. Hard left, Shellington. Now hard right. Almost through the herd, Captain. Just a bit further and we're home free. Avoid ah, contact, Shellington. Full runner left. Nice hippo. There you go. Just a bad dream. No need to wake up. <sighs> <laughs> This is not good. Come into our neighborhood. We don't lock that. Ugh, wake me from my duty sleep. I never like that. We're very sorry. Not as sorry as you're about to be, yeah? <gasps> I don't think this is a good time to talk it over with them. Back up, Shellington. And now turn nice and easy. Okay, let's move out, slow and steady. <laughs> slow and steady isn't working so well, Captain. You're right. Full speed ahead! <laughs> the hippos have stopped chasing us. But why have they stopped? That's their territory. This isn't. And it's fairly certain that if we head back that way, they'll attack again. Then it's best we wait till they leave the river. <laughs> Those hippos can't stay there all day. Actually, they can, and often do. Really? But they must take a lunch break. No. Hippos are nocturnal feeders. They eat at night, in the jungle, but stay in or around the river all day. They do it to stay wet. A hippo's skin may look tough, but it's actually very sensitive to the sun. If it gets too dry and hot, it can be very uncomfortable. Then we should wait for nightfall when the hippos leave the river to eat. I don't think we can wait that long. The gups have taken a lot of damage. They may not be working by night time. But the hippos are right there, blocking our path. How will we get past them? Let me handle that, mateys. <laughs> Over here! Oh, 
Lazy? Oh, let's show him who's lazy, huh? Ah, over here! Keep them busy, Quasi. Shellington, follow me. Shimmy whiskers, these oversized scallywags are faster than a Just about made it through, Captain. That big rock should be far enough outside the hippo's home territory. And that's where we said we'd meet up with Quasi. <gasps> Captain, I've lost my rudder. I can't move. We need a tow line. We're still in hippo territory. I can make one from bandages. Great, but you'd better do it fast. We've got company. <laughs> Ah, Toe line secure, Captain. Now let's get out of here. Quasi, do you read? Hi, heading for our meeting up place, Captain. Really hope you'll be there. Oh, hope I'll be there. No escape now, yeah? At least maybe you can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, matey. Maybe sooner. <laughs> Better give a full throttle, Captain. Those hippos can move faster than they look. <laughs> so hot. The hippos have spent too much time in the hot sun. Their skin's all dried out. It looks really uncomfortable. We can't leave them like that. Agreed. Any ideas, Peso? I know a quick and easy remedy for hot, dry skin. Mud. So, back for more, are you? Hey, want some more of this, do you? Uh, you don't know who you're messing with. Uh, oh. oh, yes, we do. Some very hot and dry hippos. But don't worry, we're going to fix that. Oh, oh lovely mud. Everyone feel better? Oh. Thanks for the mud. You're welcome, mateys. Now, the next time you see me, don't go chasing me around like that. Sorry, we don't usually like strangers on our turf, but I guess you guys are all right. So, how about we return the favour and cool you off? You know what? That does feel good. Oh, cool as a hippo in mud. <laughs> That's a damselfish. That one's a blue-headed wrasse. That one over there is a surgeonfish. What's that one over there? That's, uh, uh, well, from here it sort of looks like an old boot. Old boot? Ah, oh, that's a weird name for a fish. No, I mean, it actually is an old boot. It's just some rubbish. Shiver me whiskers. There's rubbish and litter everywhere. Dashy, any idea where it's coming from? It looks like debris from a storm, and it's moving along pretty fast. A current is pulling it all into this bay here. That's not good. A bay like that must be home to all kinds of creatures. They could get tangled up in the litter, or try to eat it and get sick. Then we need to get to that bay before the rubbish does. Dashy, activate manual steering. Already on it, Captain. Begin warning any creatures you see. Move fast, garden eels. There's a bunch of dangerous rubbish headed this way. You better take cover. Sounds like a re eel mess. Hey, thanks. Well, that was easy.
work, everyone. Looks like all the creatures have either left the bay or found shelter. Just in time, too. The debris is almost here. Then I guess we're ready to begin Operation Cleanup. Wait, do you hear that? Rockety flames! A pod of dolphins! Look at me! Not just any dolphins, spinner dolphins! What? I said they're spinner dolphins! Look how they're leaping out of the water! Spinner dolphins love to jump and splash around! <laughs> and speed! We better get them out of the bay before the litter gets here. Attention, dolphins! Can I have your attention, please? Um, better turn up the volume. Ahem! Attention! I'm Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts, and we need to warn you about. Ah! It's no use, Captain! These spinner dolphins are just too noisy! <laughs> Ah, that's better. If I could just have your attention... Sorry, friend. It will have to wait. It's time for us to power down. Power down? Excuse me. Are you looking for the way out of the bay? It shouldn't take long if you just... No, don't leave. Hello? It's like they can't hear me. Fascinating. I've read about this, but I've never actually seen it. Do you know what's going on, Shellington? I think so, Captain. This is how spinner dolphins sleep. They swim together along the seafloor like they're on autopilot. They can sleep and swim at the same time. That's right. It's a bit like sleepwalking, but in this case, sleep swimming. Can they see? Sort of, but they can't really hear while they're in their sleep state. I guess we should wake them up then. Quasi, no. Spinner dolphins always go to sleep at certain times of the day. Waking them up early could frighten and confuse them. Well, we better do something. The debris is starting to wash into the bay. Looks like this cleanup just got a little more complicated. Octonauts, circle formation. <laughs> We've got to clean up this mess and keep these sleeping dolphins safe at the same time. Tweak, clear a path through the rubbish for the dolphins. You got it, Cap. Quasi, Dashy, Shellington and Tunin, you gather up the rubbish and bring it to Pacer and me on the beach. Super, super! Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> to keep safe. Don't worry, mateys. I'll clear a path for these dolphins. And I'll stay with these guys. Oh, that's odd. When I go right, they go right. When I go left, they follow me to the left. Ah, ah. Follow me, guys. Christ is here to lead the way. In their sleep states, the dolphins must think the gut bee is part of the pod. Keep it up, Quasi. <laughs> I could keep this up all day, Captain. As long as these dolphins stay asleep, I can keep them safe and... Uh-oh. Double uh-oh. What? What's going on? <gasps> the bee! It's full of litter! we got to get out of here! Oh, Cap, I think we might have a bit of a situation here. 
I don't like this. Attention, dolphins. If you can just calm down for a moment. To keep this up much longer, someone's going to get hurt. We have to get them out of here. That's what I've been trying to tell them. But you didn't say anything. Wait a minute. You made that exact sign jump earlier. It must mean something. Not the jump, the splash. The spinner dolphins make different splashes that mean different things. It's like our own special language. That splash means follow me. So why aren't the other dolphins following you? Oh, they're making so much noise that they can't hear my splash. Hmm. Maybe we can help you make a louder splash. <laughs> Leave that to me, Captain. Now what's going into them? You just told them there's a hungry shark nearby. Do it like this. Ah, let me try that again. What did I say this time? You just told them to swim in circles. Quasi, take a look at this. It looks like she does a leap, spin, double twist, then splash. Try to copy her exactly. Leap, spin, double twist, splash. Got it. Are safe. Thanks for the help, Octonauts. And sorry our napping caused so many problems. Should we show them our new splash quasi? On three, matey. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, ho! Very impressive. What does that one mean? Everyone keep a lookout. Captain, it looks like they're heading our way. We should be able to see them out of the window any minute now. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, the eels are on the move. They should be here any minute. This only happens one time each year, so we don't want to miss it. <gasps> there they are! Eels! <gasps> lots and lots of them. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're in a big hurry to get somewhere, but where? They're on their way from the ocean up the river to the lake. It's a dangerous journey. No one knows exactly how they do it. Octonauts, our mission is to follow these eels and find out. Shellington. Thank you, Captain. Every year, a group of young eels travels from the ocean where they were born, up the river, to this lake, where they will live. That looks easy enough. Ah, but there are all kinds of dangers along the way, Quasi. Rocks, rough bumpy water, sudden twists and turns in the river. I'd like to try that trip myself. And that's why you'll be driving the Guppe with me on this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the launch bay. Come on, mateys. Those slippery eels have a head start, and we've got to catch up. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You've got it, Cap. We've already 
already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Yeah. Where be those eels? Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. We're going upstream, and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm going to need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Steer with me. One, two, three. <sighs> Thanks, Quasi. Now let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. Eels are swimming fast. Aye, well we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing. Anywhere they can go, we can go too. Turn left. No, right. <laughs> Dashy to Barnacles, are you all right? We're all right, Dashy. We're just going for a little spin. <laughs> oh, no. I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the Octopod. We're all OK. But the Guppe has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after him, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacle's out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping. Jellyfish! The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land! Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating! Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing! Uh -oh. Did somebody say something? Help! Where are you? Down here! Hello there, are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on, pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. Uh, oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry. My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. Hmm. You need a bandage. That was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help getting back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to that lake. Oh, thanks. 
It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye. Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. That water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. Got it! Grab a hold! Let's go. A cave. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. We have to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Everyone okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. I am full of squirmy eels. Where were you? We lost you. We were worried. These are my friends. Oh, thanks for getting me here. Well, you young eels certainly work hard to get where you're going. I admire your determination. It's what we do. And when we're old enough, we'll head back down the river to the ocean and have baby eels of our own. And when those babies are old enough, they'll make their journey up the river. Aye, and we'll get to have this adventure all over again. Crashing the gut, going through tunnels, swimming through rapids and over rocks. Right, Peso? If you say so. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Fascinating. This kind of coral only grows in the water close to the beach. What a nice colour and... Ow! Shark! Sorry, dude. It's a lemon shark. That was so totally my fault. Really sorry. Bye! Ouch! Oh, I hit my nose again! Let me see that. My name's Peso. I'm a medic. I help any sea creature who's hurt, no matter what. I'm Lenny. I could use some help. <sighs> Your nose is pretty bruised. Do you live around here? Yeah, think so. Maybe. Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm kind of lost. I've been looking everywhere for my lagoon. It's a beautiful place with shallow water near the beach. Is that where you live? Yeah, all of us lemon sharks hang out there. I've never had any problem finding my way home before. I just don't know why I keep getting lost. Lemmy, like all sharks, uses his nose to find his way around. He has special sensors that help him know which way to go. The sensors on your nose are hurt, so it isn't working right now. And that's why I keep getting lost. My nose doesn't know where to go. But how do I fix it? Our ship, the Octopod, has a sick bay. I could put some medicine on your nose there, bandage it up, and make it as good as new. Dude! You're the best. Let's go. Right this way. Oh, oh God. You're the wrong way again. Ah. Don't worry, Lemmy. Once your nose is all better, 
You won't bump into things anymore. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Lemmy. First, you need a little medicine on your nose. <laughs> that tickles. Second, you need a bandage. Whoa, thanks! So, is that it? Can I go home now? You need to wait a little while for your nose to heal. If you go right now, you'll still get lost and bump into things. <sighs> okay, but do I have to wait in here? I like it better outside. Only if you stay right outside the octopod. I'll hang out right here. And I'll be back to check on you later. Cool! Captain, I've bandaged up Lemmy's nose. As soon as it's better, he'll be able to find his way around again. Good work, Peso. Now, show me how you bandage a nose. <sighs> I'm bored. There's not much to do out here. Wouldn't hurt just to leave for a minute. And then I'll totally come right back. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll check on Lemmy. Oh no. Where did he go? He's swimming away in a crazy zigzag pattern, really fast. Flappity flippers. He can't tell where he's going. Captain, he could get hurt. Peso, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts. To the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a young lemon shark out there whose nose isn't working. He could get lost or hurt if we don't catch up with him right away. Peso, quasi into the guppe. Right here. Aye, aye, cat. Ah, there he is. He's a fast one, that's for sure. He's heading that way. Oops, sorry. Watch out. <laughs> Where's that speedy lemon shark going now? Uh-oh, he's swimming towards the beach. Ah, oh, there's Lemmy now. Oh no, he's stuck on the beach. He needs to be in the water to breathe. Help! Someone help me! Hang on, Lemmy. We're coming to save you. I swam too close to the beach. Octonauts, let's do this. One, two, three, lift! I'm sorry. I should have listened to you, Peso. At least you're all right. That's what matters. I'll stay in the octopod. Tell me nose is all better. Then let's all head back to the octopod. And please stay close to the gup. Hope you've been comfortable in the launch bay, Lemmy. Yes, thanks. And my nose is feeling much better. That's great news. I think today we can remove your bandages. And I can go home. Right, Peso? That's right. I'm going to miss you, Lemmy. Oh, me too. Maybe you can visit the lagoon sometime and meet my friends. Shellington to Peso. Come in, Peso. Peso here, Shellington. There's a hurt sea star inside an underwater cave. We need your help right away. Yeah. I'll be right there. I'll have the guppy ready in a jiffy. I'll wait to go home till you get back, Peso. I'd like you to come with me and meet my friends. I'll be back as soon as I help this sea star. Over here, Peso! Good as new. Watch out for that hot steam! There must be lava under these rocks! Ah! Shellington! I'm trapped! Oh, 
Octopod, please come in. It's Shellington. Barnacle's here. What's up, Shellington? Peso is trapped in this cave. Please send help. Help is on the way, Shellington. Ow! Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. What's going on? Is Peso in trouble? Aye, matey. But don't you worry. We're off to rescue him now. <laughs> Peso helped save me. Now I've got to help save him. <laughs> My lemon shark nose is working again. My nose knows where to go. Uh-oh, Quasi. This isn't just a cave. It's a cave with hot lava under the rocks. Ouch! That means this cave could fill up with hot bubbles and steam any second. We've got to get Peso and the herd starfish out of there now. Octonauts! In here! <gasps> Captain! Over here! Peso, don't move! Yeah. How do we get him out? We need to be fast enough to get past those hot bubbles. Peso! Lemmy! Captain, I've got to help Peso. Lemon sharks are one of the fastest sharks in the sea. And I know I'm fast enough to get past those hot bubbles. You're right there, matey. You're faster than any of us. What about your sense of direction? My nose is all better. Trust me. All right, Lemmy. Go in to the left. Now to the right. Now wait! Go! Yeah! Oh, that was exciting! Good work, Lemmy. You're as brave as any octonaut. Absolutely. Thanks for saving me and the Sea Star. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> We're friends, Peso! Peso, it's time to take Lemmy home to his lagoon. Follow me! My nose knows where to go! Well, here's my lagoon! Goodbye, Lemmy. Here's a sticker for being my bravest patient ever. Oh, thanks, Peso! Put it right on my nose, dude! <laughs> All right, Cap, your Octo Compass is ready to go. Oh, thanks for fixing it, Tweak. I don't feel like a captain without it. You better give it a quick check. <laughs> I'll show you how it works, Vegemals. If I need to talk to someone, I just touch the screen. Look. <laughs> Hello? And if I'm away from the octopod and I need to sound the octo alert, I can use this to do that too. Uh, don't worry, that was just a test. I can even take a picture with it. Looks like it's working perfectly, Tweak. All right, Cap. See you later. Would you like to hold it, Tunip? Be very careful with it and give it back to me as soon as you've each had a turn. <laughs> Octonauts? Huh? 
octonauts. Who sounded the octo alert? Um, Shellington, do you know what he's saying? Yes, Captain. He says that your octo compass flew out of the octo hatch and they don't know where it is. I think. And they're really sorry. Don't worry, Vegemals. We'll find it. Dashie, activate the octo compass finder. I'm on it, Captain. There it is. <laughs> it's floating into the cove. Look. It stopped moving. All we have to do now is go into the cove here and get it. Easy. Super, super! Or maybe not so easy, Captain. This cove is known to pirates everywhere as Creepy Cove. Creepy Cove? What's so creepy about it? It's the home of a creepy monster with creepy powers. And what might those powers be, Quasi? The monster of Creepy Cove can change colours like magic. It can make itself grow as big as three whales. And finally, it can make perfect copies of itself. <laughs> Until you're surrounded by monsters. I've always wanted to explore Creepy Cove and see that monster in action for myself, matey. <laughs> I'm not sure there's really a monster living in this cove. Creepy Cove, Captain? But we do need to get my octo compass back. So, Quasi, Peso, into the gup. We're heading for... Creepy Cove? Um, yes. <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. According to the map, the octo compass should be somewhere near the entrance to the cove. So we won't have to go very far inside Creepy Cove to find it. Unless the monster of Creepy Cove finds it before we do and takes it for himself. Here we go. The entrance to the cove. The octo compass is small, so we'll have to look very carefully. Peso, you take that side of the rocks, and I'll take the other side. And Quasi... Quasi? <sighs> Come on, Peso. Activate helmets. No monster yet, Captain. But you never know. He could appear at any moment. Oh. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find the Octocompass in no time. Let's search these rocks first. What was that? Look, the Octo Compass is moving. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. Barnacles here. Go ahead, Dashie. Um, Captain, have you found the Octo Compass? Uh, no, not yet. Well, somehow it's on the move again, deeper inside the cove. Tell me which way to go, and we'll catch up with it. Okay, Captain. Go left. Go through the rock archway, and to your right. Captain, what are we chasing? The Octo Compass, it's moving again. The monster of Creepy Cove must have grabbed it. All right, Dashy, now which way do we go? The Octo Compass has stopped moving, Captain. It has to be somewhere very close by. Understood, Dashy. Barnacle's out. Yeah, that scurvy monster is hiding in this kelp with your Octo Compass. Well, I don't know if a monster took it, but one thing's for sure. My octo compass is somewhere in this kelp, and we've got to find it. I'll search this way. I'll search that way. And I'll take the middle. <gasps> that rock, was it there before? <laughs> Rocks can't move all by themselves. That's silly. Hey! OK, now that rock looks just like an ordinary rock, and ordinary rocks don't sneak around. And so, to prove to myself that there's nothing to be afraid of, I'll just sit right down on this ordinary old rock and... Ah! <laughs> Flappity flippers! What is it, me hearty? Stop that rock! Huh? Oh, that's no rock. It's 
the monster of Creepy Cove. And it has the captain's octo compass. Quasi, Peso, what happened? We saw the monster. First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge. And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye, and it's got your octo compass. Deshi to Captain Barnacles. The octo compass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kelp. Thanks, Dashy. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready. Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my octo compass. The m, -m monster. Give me whiskers. Another monster. What? The real one. Gotcha. Don't worry, we won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove. No, I'm not a monster. I'm just a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish? Then how do you explain the fact that you changed your size and your shape and your colour? Mm, that's what we cuttlefish do to protect ourselves so other animals can't hurt us. I can make myself disappear. Whoa! See? I look just like a rock. Oh. Or I can make myself look bigger. Amazing. Or I can shoot out ink and make it look like you're seeing another cuttlefish while I swim away. That's incredible. Hi, matey. We didn't mean to frighten you, Mr. Cuttlefish. We've only been chasing you because you have something that belongs to me. You mean this? Yes, that's my octo compass. Here, please take it. I was just playing with it. I like how it changes its look. Just like me. <laughs> You're right. And it also turns into a camera. May I take your picture? Well, okay. How about a group shot? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Say cheese. As you can see, the monster of Creepy Cove was just a cuttlefish. <laughs> Tunip, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a small bruise. If you stay off the claw for a day or two, it'll start to feel much better. Oh, thanks, Peso. Who's next? Wow, what pretty little fish. What kind are you? <laughs> oh, these are Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apua'a. Humu Nuku Nuku Pupu Wata? No, Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apua'a. It's their Hawaiian name. Repeat after me. Humu humu. Humu humu. Nuku nuku. Nuku nuku. Apua. Apua. Ah. Ah. That's it. Now just put it all together. Humu kuku pupu nuu wa a a a a. Ahem. Excuse me. Why don't you just call us Humu Humus for short? Oh. Righto. Humu humu. Achoo! Oh, whoa! It's okay. I only sneezed. Humu humus get scared very easily, Peso. We need to be calm and quiet. Hello. My name's Peso. And I'm Shellington. Aloha. My name's Hank. Aloha, Hank. What can we do for you today? Um, we're here for a checkup. All right. Just open wide and say, ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! Yeah! laughs> There's Peso and Shellington. I'll show them a few of my moves. Uh. Avast, mateys! Oh. <laughs> the shark, quick, hide, chaps! Oh. 
No, no, that's not a shark. It's just my friend, Quasi. Oh, no, I forgot to close the Octo Hatch. Dashi, what's going on? Some kind of little fish are swimming into the octopod, Captain, and they're getting inside everything. Tweak. It's not just the toilet. Captain, this isn't good for the fish. Or the ship. Dashy, sound the octopful of. Huh? You want me to sound the octopful? No, Dashy. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have a very big problem caused by some very small creatures. Lots of tiny fish have swum into the octopod. They're inside all the pipes, hoses and tanks. Basically, anything with water in it. Oh no, they could get hurt. Ah, who are the little fellas anyway? They're Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apua'a. What? Huma Nuka Kuka Puka Wata Hedabudu? Humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. When something scares them, they quickly hide in small spaces, then stay in there till it's safe to come out again. Who would want to scare these cute little fishies? Um, actually, it was you, Quasi. Me? Yes. The humu humus thought that the gut bee was a shark. That's why they swam into the octopod. Oh. Sorry, little fishies. Octonauts, let's split up. We've got to get the Humu Humus out now. Ahoy there, Humu Humus! There's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to <laughs> fear. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, Humu Humus can blow strong jets of water from their mouths. Hmm, now you tell me. <laughs> that's funny. Water in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, little fish. Huh? Hank? Is that you? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Hank, it's me, Peso. Hank, that wasn't a shark you saw in the water. It was just the gut bee. One of our ships that looks like a shark. <laughs> Are you sure? I promise. It really is safe to come out. Well, OK. Just a second. My fin is oh, a bit stuck in here. Oh. When I get scared, a fin goes up on my back and locks me into my hiding place. Just relax. Let your fin go down. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, thanks, Peso. And uh, sorry about um, squirting you back, back there. That's OK. But we have to get the rest of your friends to come out of their hiding places before one of them gets hurt. Can you help us? Absolutely. I'll just tell them all that it's safe. Great. Thank you, Hank. Hello in there, it's me, Hank. <laughs> There's no shark, you can come out now. I want to come out, but I can't. My fin is stuck. I'm stuck too. Oh, 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 me too. Oh, come oh, oh, yeah, I can't move, I can't move. Uh-oh, come on, Hank. Captain. What is it, Peso? 
We've got a problem. The Humuhumus can't seem to leave the octopod. They're stuck in the pipes. Aye. Whenever we get close to the little fishies, they dive back into the pipes and wedge themselves in even deeper. But what can we do? None of us are small enough to climb in there and pull them out. That's it. We'll flush them out. We're going to flush all the toilets. Not just the toilets, Quasi. If we can push even more water through the pipes at the same time, it might flush the humuhumus out. And they can ride the wave out into the ocean. Yow! Octonauts, let's do this. OK, everyone, are you all ready? Yes, sir. Sure thing, Cap. At the ready. Hi, matey. <laughs> ready to flush. Ready when you are, Captain. Me too. OK, Octonauts. And now, Dashie, empty the water cooler. <sighs> Quasi, run the water. Yes. Junip, turn on the hose. <laughs> Tweak, Inkling, empty the tanks. <laughs> Peso, empty the sick bay tank. See you back in the ocean, Hank. Will do. See you soon, Peso. Tweak, empty the launch bay tank. <laughs> Most of the humuhumas are still stuck. What did I forget? Ah! Shellington, flush the toilet now. <laughs> Is everybody out, Hank? Yep, that's everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Octonauts. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh. Hank, wait! There's something we haven't finished yet. Um, there is? Yes, I'm still your medic, remember? I need to do a checkup for you and all the other humu humu nuku nuku wapwa'a. <gasps> Peso, you finally said it! You're right! Humu humu nuku nuku wapwa'a. Now you say wapwa'a. Wapwa'a. <laughs> 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 Full speed ahead, Dashy. I'm on it, Captain. Aha! That's more like it. Are we almost there, Cap? Don't worry, Tweak. We'll be there in no time. Okay, Cap. You must be really excited to see Sandy. I sure am, Peso. Sandy the sea turtle is one of my best friends, and I don't get to see her very often. Sandy always swims through these waters this time of year. Then it's lucky that we're passing by. Sandy should be just on the other side of this canyon. I just hope we get there in time to see her. We'll be there faster than you can say, muncher, buncher. Uh, how does it go? Buncher, munchy, crunchy. Oh. What was that? Captain, the octopod is losing electrical power. I can't control the ship. Let's switch to steering wheel. Huh? <gasps> Quasi, peso, totem pole. Hi, Hi Captain.
everyone okay? Sure thing. Hey, okay, Captain. Shiver me whiskers. That was a close one, Captain. It's not over yet. The electricity's out, and we're right on the edge of a deep canyon. And we're already late for meeting up with Sandy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, sorry, Cap. No electricity, no octo alert. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Tunip. Sound the octo alert, vegimal style. That's more like it. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the octopod has crashed. It seems to have lost all electrical power. I think I found the problem, Cap. See that? Red means that the octopod's battery is out of electricity. And without electricity, the octopod won't work. Don't worry, Tweak. I'm just worried that by the time it's fixed, it'll be too late to meet up with Sandy. Can't you just go out to meet her in one of the gups? The crash jammed the octa hatch. I can't get it open wide enough to take the gups out. We'd better check to see if the ship is damaged on the outside. Quasi, Peso, activate helmets. Let's go. <laughs> This is not a good place for the octopod to be. It could fall over the canyon at any minute. We'd better tie it down. <sighs> that should hold it. For a while. Ah, nothing to worry about. The octopod's as secure as... <laughs> huh, what's the big idea, stepping on my tail like that? First this big orange thing drops out of the sky, and now these guys are just walking all over me while I'm resting on the sand. It makes me so mad I could... <laughs> Easy now. We didn't mean to startle you. We were on our way to visit a friend when our ship crashed. Oh, all right. Whew, listen, I'm really sorry about that. I'm usually a pretty friendly, go-with-the-flow kind of guy, but sometimes I just get a little worked up, and then... Yeah, yeah, then you zap. But how do you do it? I'm a torpedo ray, an electric torpedo ray, but you can call me Ray for short. An electric torpedo ray? That's right. I have a special part inside me that makes electricity, which lets me zap things. The one I gave you was just a little warning zap. Some warning. But I can make big zaps of electricity, too. Hmm. Could you show us how you make one of your big zaps? I sure hope this works. I might just get to see Sandy after all. Now, Ray, if you just make one of your nice big zaps, the electricity will go through the wire, recharge the battery, and give power to the octopod. Ready? Ready! All stand clear. Electricity is dangerous. <laughs> uh, must be a little nervous. Let me try that again. Take your time. OK, here I go. Nothing to it. Huh? Uh, well, I guess I can only make really big zaps when something scares me or when I'm eating. Oh, yum! Oh, it's working! Mmm, oh, nice and crunchy. We torpedo rays always zap our food before we eat it. Oh, still not enough electricity, I guess. Sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, Ray. I was just really looking forward to seeing my friend. Hey, listen, I've got some friends too. Other electric torpedo rays. Maybe they can help. If one torpedo ray can make enough electricity to light up one room, a bunch of torpedo rays might be able to light up the whole octopod. And they do seem to like the Vegemal's fish biscuits. Keep it coming, Tunip. Come on, guys. Dinner is served. Mmm. Mmm, nice and crunchy. And these fish biscuits taste great toasted. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I'm starving. 
It's working. The electricity from their zapping is going through the wire right into the octopod. Yeah, really. Oh, wow. Almost there. Just a few more zaps. The electricity's back on. Yeah, I knew we could. Oh, hey, watch it, man. That watch was my discovery. Watch it, will ya? Get out of my way, man. Hey, easy, guys. Yeah. 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 Get out of it. The octopod's going to fall over the edge. Hey, watch out. Torpedo rays, look out. Ooh. Sorry. I've got to get to the controls. Looks like you could use a lift. <gasps> Sandy! Nice to see you again, Sandy. Hop on. Aim for the octo hatch. Got it. You have to jump for it. Uh, ah. Polar bat strength. Hey! Octonauts, the octopod is back in action. Yeah! 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 Good to see you, Tweak. You too, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard all the commotion from the other side of the canyon, so I swam over to check it out. Just in time, too. I'm glad everybody's okay. Fish biscuit, Sandy. Here, let me zap that for you. <laughs> nice and crunchy. <laughs> Thanks for coming all this way just to see me. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Uh, not too much trouble, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still, Puffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike. It's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Yeah! <clears throat> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh... Practicing me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. But with these spikes, the bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> hey, my spike is starting to feel bitter. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye bye. Bye. There he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just a um, whale shark. Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours. Ooh. Yeah! No. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. 
Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. Rope. Check. Fish pack. Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi, you swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. And we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny crew. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Yeah. Oh. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this... fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Cap. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You've got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's going to do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the gills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery tongue and grab! <laughs> this is fun. Now what? Now it's story time. Ah. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cool. Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah. You can do it, Peso. <sighs> Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Oh. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! <laughs> oh. Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! 
Hold on, Puffy. We have to get him back into water fast. <laughs> the whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> I can't quite reach his tail. <laughs> you can if you hold on to me. <laughs> to watch out for really big fish. I'll keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> 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 Keep us safe. Now let's see how everybody else is doing out there. Activate Octoscope. That little island is really getting pounded by the storm. Zoom in, Dashy. Look, fiddler crabs. I hope they're all right. The fiddler crabs will use their claws to tunnel into the sand to stay safe. But their beach is getting destroyed by this storm. Captain, the octoscope is gone. Can you track it on the radar? There it is. It must be somewhere on that island. Let's find our octoscope and clean up that beach. Quasi, peso, to the gumps. Feed la crabs! The storm is over! But our beach, it's a mess! Oh, 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 Silence! We have claws, do we not? We, we do! We will use them to clean this up. Uh -huh. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> uh, just warming up. <laughs> oh, it, is a, it is a giant crab! Uh -huh. You! What business do you have on our beach? I'm warning you, stand back! To the tunnels! Oh, no sign of the crabs yet. It'll be quick. 
quite a job finding the octoscope in this mess, Captain. We'd better clear it all away first. Hmm. Look at these tiny balls of sand. Shellington? What do you make of these? It looks like they were made by the fiddler crabs. They put sand in their mouths, eat tiny bits of food from it, and then spit the rest out in little balls. Then we must be near their tunnels. We'll have to be extra careful. Octonaut, let's clean up this beach. <laughs> Time to eat! This giant cat may not be our friend. Hmm, this seaweed just won't come off. Oh, but look! He's giving us a friendly wave. Hello, bonjour! Bonjour! Maybe this will get it loose. Aha! That is no friendly hello. That is a challenge. The giant crab thinks he can take over our beach with a snap of his giant claw. Will we surrender our home to this giant nincompoop? No! Then, sideways, march! That's better. Octonauts, the beach looks great. Captain, I'm sending you a scan of the beach. I found the octoscope. Hmm, those must be the Fiddler Crab's tunnels. And there's the octoscope, buried in the sand. We'll have to dig it out by hand so we don't disturb their homes. If we start digging right there, and we're very careful to avoid this <laughs> Hey, giant cub, I saw you with your claw. I accept your challenge. <laughs> I said, I accept your challenge. Huh? Oh. You think you can ignore me, you yellow-bellied crab cake? Ah! <laughs> Take that! Take that! Take that! Ha! Chop! 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 Ha! Oh, and now you try to eat me! Oh, you sorry excuse for a crab! Ah! <laughs> It's the Fiddler Crabs. And somehow, they're being chased by the Club Z. We have to stop it before they get hurt. Ouch, my claw! I'm a medic. I help... We've got to catch up with... Ow! Calm down, you scurvy owl! Time to sound the Octo Alert! Octonaut to the out queue! Octonaut, we've cleaned up the beach and found the fiddler crabs. Hello. Oh, but we have a big problem. The gut D is out of control. It's tunneling under the sand. Dashi, can you track it? Looks like the gut D's moving fast. The Fiddler Crab's tunnels, they'll be destroyed. Then we need to stop it fast. But ouch, these Fiddler Crabs aren't making things easy for us. Fiddler Crabs like to keep their homes to themselves. They wave their claws and snap at strangers who get too close. Unless they let us help them, they won't have any homes at all. Ha! Oh, I will never find her. Shiver me whiskers, one of those crabs is inside the cup D. Give us back our leader, giant crab. That's not a giant crab, that's our gulp. Oh, whatever it is, it is our leader. <laughs> Fiddler crabs, we are the Octonauts. We need to work together to stop our gulp and save your leader. If we don't, your homes will be destroyed. Ooh. We will let you help us. No more snapping. And you may tend to my claw. Stop that gap! <laughs> There's only one way to catch it now. <laughs> Please 
Please, stop pressing buttons. Peso, <laughs> look out! Flappity flippers! <laughs> Fiddler Crab's tunnels were destroyed by the sinkhole. Oh, thank you. You saved us. Our beach is clean. The giant crab is defeated, and our homes are safe. This calls for a celebration. Hey! Uh, but what about the sinkhole? Oh, don't worry. We will fill it up in no time. Fiddler Crabs, let's eat. <laughs> Eat and spit, eat and spit, eat and spit, eat and spit, eat and spit. Wow! You don't see that every day. There! No more sinkholes! Yeah! <laughs> you little mateys must really like that sand. But of course. <laughs> Excuse-moi. <laughs> <laughs> What's our mission today, Captain? I'm ready for anything. Shiver me whiskers. What's that big green thing? Some sort of humongous blob monster heading towards us? I'm tracking a large mass of plankton to see how wind and waves affect its path. A massive what? Plankton. That large patch of plankton is actually made up of teeny tiny little things. Uh, oh yeah. You see, there are little animals and little green plants in the plankton. <laughs> but what's our mission, Captain? Well, the plankton is our mission for the next few weeks. You mean we're just going to sit here and watch little bits of green gunk? We can learn big things from little things, Quasi. Aye, like how to go stir-crazy with your tail stuck in one place. Um, Quasi, I think Tweak could use some help with the Gup X. The Gup X? Well, now you're talking! I don't know, Quasi. Seems to me you're better at wrecking Gups and helping fix him. Oh, come on, matey. What have you got to lose? A Gup. Please? <sighs> All right, follow me. What do you need me to do? Drive the tank up the side of an undersea volcano? See how fast the glider can fly upside down? Nope. You want me to just sit on the octoski? You can try to get it going after I clean all the plankton out of the engine. Don't worry, I'll get her started. Wait, Quasi! First I gotta... But how do I get it to stop? It's stuck! <laughs> Quasi to tweak. Come in. A high octopod. Anybody? <sighs> no problem. Me pirate senses tell me the octopod's just a little bit back that way. Okay. A lot of it back. Left, right, sky! Left, right, sky! I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Left, right, it's a sky. bug walking Left, on water. Right, sky. 
Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider. The only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing. But true. I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey, I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh, yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she-skater. All the she-skaters are bigger than the he-skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? No. We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. <laughs> yeah, we need food! <laughs> what do you sea skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast, and it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What do we got to lose? Ready, kids? Yeah, yes. 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 Cool, cool. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, here we go. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, and hurry. Right, skate. Don't like Left, the look right, of this wind. Any sign of Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the gut finder. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find him before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out. And I can't open the octo hatch. Nothing's working right. Dashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea, and every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh, no. Quasi's out there while we're stuck in here. <sighs> hmm. Any luck opening the octo hatch, Tweak? Uh, no. We gotta unjam the octo hatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey, you're talking to a speed skater, man. <laughs> Can't you swim any faster? Come on, I'll race you. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> I, I had leg cramp. Sorry about that, me hearty. I didn't see you there, because you're so... Don't, don't say little. Uh, no. I mean, yes. Uh... Coming through. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. <sighs> That's as far as I can get it. <sighs> I can't get through. If Basil can't make it, who can? Janet, you did it! Captain, I found the Octo Ski! But I'm tracking a really big wave, and it's heading straight for Quasi. Let's go. Tweak, activate glider. You got it, Cap. Oh! Hang on, kids. OK, Sally, time to bubble up. Time to what? Bubble up. Remember those little hairs I told you about? When the water gets really rough, it helps us do this. So we can breathe, even if we go underwater. Amazing! Haha, <laughs> but true! What about the babies? <laughs> well, I don't have a bubble, but you're welcome to take shelter in my octo ski. All aboard! It's okay, hon, I've got it. <laughs> my babies! Mummy! I'll save them! <laughs> Don't be scared, kids. I've got you. Here you go. Strider! He's gone. Stay with your babies. I'll get him. We should 
Galaxy Quasi any minute, Cap. <laughs> ah, there's nobody here. Hey, who are you calling nobody? Uh, oh, hello. Um, who are you? Oh, never mind that. These waves are getting too big. My husband and your furry friend are in danger. Strider! Need a lift? No worries! <laughs> what makes you think I need a... <laughs> are you all right, matey? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Poor little bug. Too small to save himself. That's not what I was thinking. Everybody needs saving sometimes, just like you saved the baby skaters. That's big! Right. You may be little, but you do big things. No, no, no. I mean that! Shiver me whiskers! Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bubble! Did you miss me? <laughs> oh, I quit showing off. <sighs> it's good to see you, Quaz. You too, Tweak. Care it? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> mm. Fascinating. I've never seen something so little eat so much plankton. Uh, 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 uh. They may be little, but... We do big things! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
The wave is moving in fast. We'd better hurry. Octonauts, load those eggs. <laughs> The last one, Captain. Good. The wave is almost here. Tweak, we're ready for the GUP H. Roger that, Cap. Here we come. More tow lines, Tunic. Roger, roger. All right, Octonauts. Hook them up. Tweak, all lines are secure. Thanks, Cap. We'll get those eggs to safety faster and you can see a bunch of munchy crunchy... Uh, hold on, Tweak. Oh, good catch, Gruber. This one nearly got away from us. Ah. Here comes the wave. Everyone, into the gut, now. Brace yourselves. Is everyone all right? Just a little dizzy, Captain. Yow! And ready to go again. Captain, the turtle eggs aren't out of danger yet. We have to get them to a new beach right away. This one is too wet. I think we may have found one, Shellington. Sending you some pictures now. Ah, it seems to have everything the turtles need. The right sand, the right slope, and the right distance from the water. Perfect. Tweak, send us the location and we'll meet there to make new nests for the eggs. Octonauts, let's do this. Does it? The eggs are all safely under the sand. Good work, Octonauts. Ah, I suppose there's nothing left to do now but wait for the eggs to hatch. Yeah, more waiting. I don't think we'll be waiting long, Quasi. Look. They're hatching. Oh, that's wonderful. Maybe not. Sea turtle eggs usually hatch at night when there are fewer predators around to eat them. This beach must be colder than their old beach, which is making them think it's night time. Turtles? Wow! <laughs> Amazing! Zoom up, zoom out. Oh, just wow. wonderful. Look at them! Huh? <laughs> You're the little guy that almost got left behind. There you go. Hey, put that back. I can do it myself. Oh, sorry, matey. Just trying to help. Thanks, but I don't need help. We sea turtles got to do this on our own. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know what those things are, but they sound hungry. Gotta go. He's right. Those seagulls would love to have a baby sea turtle for a snack. Then it's up to us to make sure the turtles make it to the water safely. Vegetables, are there any fish biscuits in the Gup X? We'll need all the fish biscuits you've got to keep these gulls distracted. Keep it up, everyone. We just have to keep these gulls busy until all the baby turtles are in the ocean. Huh? <sighs> oh, me, oh, my. One of the baby turtles is going off course. Captain, it's your octocompass. Huh? Baby turtles use light to find their way to the water. The light bouncing off your compass must be confusing him. Keep the gulls away from him. Ha-ha! <laughs> Leave that to me, Captain! Yow! Feeding time, gulls! Take the biscuit! <laughs> ha! Woo! Take that! I'm sorry, little turtle. I didn't mean to confuse you. <laughs> there sure are a lot of not turtles on this beach. 
Oh, so it's you again. Don't worry, I've got you, little matey. Be careful, Quasi. His shell's not fully hardened yet. Then I'll call you Soft Shell. Good name, but could you please put me down? I want to get to the water all by myself. That's what we turtles do. There you go, Soft Shell. Just a little further. Thanks. Now no more helping me. I'm almost... <laughs> That seagull's getting away with soft shell. Tweak, follow that bird. We're hot on his tail feathers, Cap. If I'd known this was going to happen, I'd have stayed in my egg. Donna Otta! Tuna, what are you... Oh, I get it. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Shell, you're okay. Take me to the water's edge, please. Exactly where I left off. There! I did it! All by myself. Well, almost. Thanks, Octonauts! See you later, Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Congratulations! Good luck out there. Nice work today, Octonauts. Those baby sea turtles are off to a good start. So, what happens to them now, Shellington? Well, they'll swim far out to sea and get bigger and bigger until it's time for them to return to this very beach and lay eggs of their own. How long does that take? Um, about 15 to 20 years. Yeah! That's a long time to wait. <laughs> Sorry, Gruber. I don't think we have enough fish biscuits to last that long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Lobster, let's take a look at that antenna. It's all right. This won't hurt. All done. Ooh, thanks, Doc. Bye. Cheerio. Ah, my last patient of the day. Peso, come in, Peso. Captain, is something wrong? There's no time to explain. Head down to the launch bay now. Who? <laughs> What's going on, Tweak? I don't know, but the captain sounds real worried. Here he comes. Peso, I've got a lot of hurt patients back here. Hurry. <gasps> Pelicans. There's more of them in here. Peso, we found them covered in rubbish. They need your help. Tweak, clear out your workshop. We'll need that space for an emergency room. You got it, Peso. Good work, Peso. Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, t'was awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. What was it, matey? Were you attacked by some kind of rubbish monster? Not now, Quasi. These pelicans need to rest. No, it's all right. Tis a tale that needs to be told. Oh, Charlie's the name, and this here's me fishing crew. <laughs> We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip of the morning, and we'd just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them, prepare to plunge. That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast, then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, 
We were tricked. Twasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashie and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. But why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Uh, Cap, we're already in the launch bay. Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Dashie, can you track it on the map? Already on it, Captain. That must be it. It's drifting over the octopod right now. Peso, you stay here and look after the pelicans. Everybody else, let's head to the surface. Shiver me whiskers. Look at all that rubbish. With these nets, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. But, Captain, what do we do with the rubbish once we scoop it up? Don't worry about that, Dashie. We'll put the rubbish into this octobin. And then take it back to the octopod to recycle. Mm. Octonauts, let's do this. Octonauts, we're making good progress. I'd better see how things are going back at the octopod. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, looks good. Peso, come in, Peso. How are your patients? Well, Captain, I'd say the pelicans are healing nicely. Excellent. Ooh. Peso, what's that noise? Hmm, looks like there's another patch of something heading your way. Hmm, more rubbish, maybe. Whatever it is, it's moving fast. Yeah. <laughs> Something's tickling me toes. <laughs> it's not more rubbish. Huh? It's a huge school of fish. Uh-oh. Whenever there's a school of fish this big, there's bound to be a, yeah. a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Attention, swordfish. There's rubbish in the water. It's not safe to eat here. <gasps> oh, looks like they're all too hungry to listen. In that case, we'd better hurry. Whoa! Oh, we're surrounded. Captain, come in, Captain. What's going on there? We're caught in the middle of a whoa! Feeding frenzy! It's making the cleanup a little tricky, and we Captain! Captain! I have to help them. Listen, Doc, we pelicans know a thing or two about feeding frenzies. The trick is to get in and out as fast as you can. But how? <laughs> what say ye, mateys? Ready to stretch your wings? Ah, right. ah, ready. <laughs> They're coming from every direction. There's got to be a whoa, way out of here. Captain! Jump on! Great timing, Peso. Octonauts, let's move out. Yeah. Don't look down. Don't look down. Thanks for the lift, Pelicans. Good to see you're feeling better. Now, what do you say we clean up the rest of this sea rubbish before someone gets hurt? Remember, mateys, in and out fast. Get ready, Octonauts. When the pelicans dive in, try to scoop up as much rubbish as you can. Prepare to plunge!
Whoa. You keep going. I have to help that swordfish. Ah, be careful, Doc. Just a little further, mateys. And release. Bulldog. I think that's the last of it, Captain. Ha! Huh. Good work, everyone. Hold on. Where's Peso? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a medic. I help any creature who's hurt or sick. Oh, thank you. We've got to go. Au revoir. That's funny. The swordfish are leaving. The feeding frenzy must be over. Flappity flippers. <laughs> There he is! Are you all right in there, Peso? I'm fine, Captain. That was a close one. Thanks, old Charlie. No worry, Peso. Good work, everyone. Pelicans, we couldn't have done it without you. Aye, after everything you did for us, it was the least we could do. All right, mateys, who's up for a little fishing? Hooray! Goodbye! 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 Goodbye. 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 Prepare to plunge! <laughs> told me that this new gup that Tweak's building is called the Gup H. That's right, Quasi. Aha! And, and, and what exactly does the Gup H do? Ah, it's a surprise. You'll find out soon. Ah, ah, I, but I, I reckon I can guess it first. Uh, maybe the H is a clue. Uh, the Gup H is made for hopping. No, that's not it. How's it going, Tweak? Right on schedule, Cap. We're almost ready to show everybody what this gup can do. Very good. We'll be in the octopod if you need us. <laughs> Just one more guess. Uh, uh, the gup H is for hiccuping. No, uh, hammering, uh, honking, uh, helping. All of our gups are for helping, Quasi. <sighs> Uh-oh. Uh, Captain, I'm picking up a reading on the wave tracker. Looks like a tidal bore is heading from the ocean into the Amazon River. A tidal bore is a huge wave that moves up the river. The extra water in the river makes it rise really high. Creatures can get hurt or even thrown out of the water onto the shore. Then let's head to the river to help. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the Gup A. <laughs> Dashi, we've reached the river. Where's the tidal bore now? According to the wave tracker, the tidal bore hit the river about an hour ago. You've just missed it. Thanks, Dashi. We're heading in. Octonauts, keep your eyes peeled for creatures who need our help. Aye, aye, Captain. It's awfully quiet. Hmm. That's strange. No creatures down here. We'd better check the surface. Where is everybody? Did you hear that? It's coming from the shore. Hi, mateys. There's a group of tiny frogs in the trees, and one of them is waving to us. Let's investigate. Ahoy there, little matey. Oh, don't touch, don't touch. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. No, but he could hurt you. Oh, come on. This little guy hurt me. That's right, that's right. I'm a poison dart frog. I don't bite or sting, but my skin is covered in poison. So if you touch me, you're in trouble, big trouble. That's why poison dart frogs have such brightly coloured skin. It's like a do not touch sign. 
but I'm pleased to meet you just the same. Name's Robert, Robert. Pleased to meet you too. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi, Shellington, and Peso. We're looking for anyone who needs help after the tidal bore. We've got a big, big problem. Fish in the trees. Fish in the trees. Jumping jellyfish. The tidal bore must have thrown all the fish high up into the trees. Oh, no. That's not good for the fish. They need water to breathe. They do have some water. But not enough to last long. There now. Back in the river where you belong. But there are lots more stuck up high, really high in the trees. And that means trouble, big trouble for us poison dart frogs. Is it a Our eggs are about to hatch. And when they do... <gasps> you need the puddles of water up in the trees for the tadpoles. But why do they need puddles of water in the trees? When they hatch, they're not frogs yet. They're called tadpoles. They look like fish and swim in water. Right, exactly right. Each poodle makes a perfect little home for our tadpoles so they can swim around and stay safe. But now, all the puddles up in the trees are full of fish. We need to get the fish out of the trees and make room for the tadpoles. And fast. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the tidal bore has swept fish high into the trees. Our mission is to get them out of the trees and back into the water. I'm ready to climb the highest tree, Captain. Trees in the Amazon are very tall, Quasi. It could take a long time to climb from the bottom to the top. Hmm, we need a faster way. Tweak, what do you think? The girl beach is ready, Cap. Then meet us here at the rescue site as fast as you can. Time to launch the Duh Beach, Tunip. Let's rescue the fish that are stuck in the lower branches of the trees. Robert, Robert, will you and the other poison dart frogs help us find all the stranded fish? We'll do, we'll do. When we find the fish, we'll point and signal with a... That's how we croak. Herbert, Herbert, will you keep watching the eggs and signal us when they start to hatch? We'll do, we'll do. Thanks. Poison dart frogs, let's hop to it. All right, Octonauts, let's hop to it, too. Uh, oh, uh, steady. Oh, uh. Found the fish, found the fish. Oh, a piranha. All right, into the bucket and no biting. Here's another, here's another. I'll take you back to the river, little fishy. Up here, up here. This way, this way. I see one, I see one. Coming, coming. Me too, me too. The tadpoles are hatching. Congratulations. I'm excited, so excited. Time to start putting the tadpoles in puddles. Is it just me, or is it starting to get windy? That's not wind. Yeah! It's a giant flying bug. It's the girl beach. Whoa! I beat the design on the dragonfly. And, and the H is for helicopter. You're just in time, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this.
But, Robert, are all the little ones safe and accounted for? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Every tadpole has its own paddle, except for one. Mine! <laughs> Isn't she cute? I named her Roberta Roberta. Time to find one last paddle. Help, help! Help! Robot, robot needs help! Tweak, Tudip, do you read me? Loud and clear, Cap. Robot, robot is up in the treetops and he needs help. I see him, Captain, and the little tadpole on his back. Tweak, take us over to that tree. Quasi, remember, he's a poison dart frog, so don't touch. Uh, 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 uh. Don't worry, little matey, I've got you! <laughs> Sure. Special delivery. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good work, Octonauts. Time to head home. Hey, Quasi, guess what else the ancient girl beach stands for? What? Hold on! This red seaweed will be a yummy treat at the seaweed feast this year. Let's go check in with the captain. Chairs, check. Napkins, check. Now, what about the menu? It's all organised, sir. We have red seaweed soup, followed by red seaweed stew, red seaweed sausages, and your favourite, red seaweed on a stick. Super, super! Sounds like a lot of lovely seaweed, Shellington. Good job. Thank you, sir. Vegemals, off to the kitchen to get everything ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Peso, you're in charge of entertainment. All taken care of, Captain. Xylophone music. I've been practising. Oh, bravo, Peso. That just leaves the question of where to have the feast. Since we're stationed near the Galapagos Islands, how about having it on the nearest island? Good idea, Dashy. But I want to make sure we don't disturb any of the animals there. Oh, no worries, sir. There's just a bunch of rocks and these iguanas. I think we can stay out of their way. Ted! Yeah! Sneezy! Ever Iggy! Iggy! Oh, right, that's me. <clears throat> OK, boys, now remember, we're marine iguanas. And what's the one thing we do better than any other iguana in the world? Ooh, 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 uh, walk on tippy toes. No! We're the only iguanas who dive in the ocean for food. And what do we love to eat more than anything? Seaweed! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we eat seaweed. And today, I found a giant clump of fat, juicy, red seaweed. Just waiting to be eaten. Cool, you did. Where? 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 Right down there. It's growing in some kind of big orange thingy, but I guess that's just how it grows. So, how about it, boys? Let's do lunch. Yeah! Lunch! OK, prepare to dive. Ready? Get set. broken into the octopod. And they're heading to the garden. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the garden pod. <gasps> Our seaweed, it's gone. Who could have taken it? Hmm. Whoever it was must have left some clues. <gasps> yes, some strange claw prints. And over here, 
It looks like slimy salt. Yuck! And long, wet tail tracks. They seem to lead to this vent. It looks like they came in from there, took the seaweed and left. What about the seaweed feast tomorrow? We still have some seaweed left in the kitchen. We should be fine for the feast. Phew! Phew. That's great news, but just to make sure nothing happens to it... I'll guard it, Captain. Those scurvy seaweed snatchers won't get past me. Mmm, boy, that was some good eating. Yes, it certainly was. I don't know about you fellas, but I'm getting hungry again just thinking about it. <sighs> Who's up for a snack? Yeah. <laughs> Saw was a tail. Hmm. Let's just think this through. What do we know about them? Well, there must have been a few of them because we saw a lot of footprints. Aye, and don't forget all that slimy salt on the floor. Hmm. And the long, scaly tail, just like the iguanas in Dash's pictures. Well, but they can't be iguanas. Iguanas don't swim in the ocean, do they? Wait a minute. Iguanas? Galapagos Islands? Missing seaweed? Of course! Marine iguanas! Marine iguanas? Yes. Marine iguanas are a special kind of iguana who only live in the Galapagos Islands. They're also the only kind of iguanas who can swim and their favourite food is seaweed. But what about the salt? The seaweed they eat is very salty, so they sneeze out the extra salt. <laughs> Good job, Shellington. At least now we know who we're after. And there they be! Let's get those marine iguanas and find out what they've done with our seaweed. Octonauts, hold on! Yikes! Some blue thingy came out of the big orange thingy and now it's coming after us. we got to get out of here fast! <laughs> it's getting close <laughs> Trying to lose us in the seaweed. Hang on, we're going in. This way, the seaweed's thicker over here. They'll never make it through. Turn off the propeller, Quasi. We don't want to get stuck. Hold on, we're going down. It's no good. We're stuck. We can't get out. See? Nobody gets through seaweed like an iguana. Didn't you hear them, guys? I think we should help. The hatch is stuck. We're trapped. Hmm. The marine iguanas aren't swimming away. And they do like seaweed. I have an idea. Um, excuse me, marine iguanas, are you still hungry? Huh? <laughs> How would you like a nice, big, juicy seaweed snack? Ooh. Lovely. 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 
Wow, look at them eat. You've been a great help. Yeah, thanks. But what'd you do with our red seaweed? <coughs> Sorry, we ate it. That's what I was afraid of. We didn't know it was yours, honest. We thought it just grew in that big orange thingy. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Then that's it. If the red seaweed's gone, then we can have no seaweed feast. Oh, listen. There's a lot of seaweed that grows right around the island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we've got brown seaweed, green seaweed. Maybe not as good as the red seaweed, but still pretty good. Come on. We'll show you where the good stuff is. Yeah, yeah, good stuff, good stuff, yeah. <laughs> Octonauts, the seaweed feast is back on. And this year, we'll have some very special guests. <laughs> ah, this seaweed needs a little salt. Oh, oh let me help. Yes, I, I, I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> That's okay, matey. I'll just use the salt shaker. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> That's it. Come on out. Dashy, oh. come in, Dashy. How's the photo assignment going? Well, I've taken some good shots. But if I want one of my photos on the cover of National Seagraphic, I need a really great shot. <gasps> Captain, I have to call you back. Manta rays. Incredible. into you like that. I just... Ouch! Are you all right? No. I, I think I scratched my fin. Ow! Sorry about Muriel here. For a manta ray, she's not very good at leaping. For a manta ray, she's not very good at anything. Oh, ha, ha. Very funny. Don't mind them. They're just my remora fish. Most of us manta rays have them. They ride around with me everywhere. Ow! You'd better come with me, Muriel. I know just the person who can make your fin feel better. Please do make her better, Doctor. Muriel may be clumsy, but she is our friend. Don't worry, Muriel. Your fin just needs a little slime. Slime? What you need slime for? Manta Ray's skin is protected by a layer of slime. Some of Muriel's got scratched off when she crashed into Dashi. There. Good as new. Thanks. Now, uh, got to go. I need to catch up with the other manta rays. They know the way. The way? The way to what? Every so often, we manta rays have a big feast in a special place. The secret manta ray feeding ground. I reckon nobody's ever photographed that before. How do we get there, Muriel? Um... <laughs> if you find out, be sure to tell Muriel. It's so secret, even she doesn't know where it is. Uh, I guess you could say I've never actually been there, myself, personally. <laughs> but I have to get there soon or I'll miss the big feast. In that case, we'd better help you find it. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, our mission is to help Muriel find the secret manta ray feeding ground. Muriel, do you have any idea where it may be? Well, there is an old manta ray rhyme about it. Uh, follow the giant swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. <laughs> hmm. Dashy, let's see the map. Ah, I don't see any rivers or swirling things on the map. Maybe we're looking at the wrong map. Let's check the storm tracker. There. That storm looks like a giant swirling thing. And we're going to follow it. Quasi, peso, dashy, into the guppe. We'd better hurry. The big feast doesn't last long. One swirling storm straight ahead. Oh, there it is! The swirling thing! Come along, everyone! Let's go! Muriel! We've got to 
tore her out somehow. Quasi, can you? I'm coming for you, Muriel! Wait, don't touch her. You'll scratch off her slime. You need to make your paws soft and slimy first. I slime gloves. You take one fin, I'll take the other. Let's go, Captain! Everyone, hang on! The engines have shut down! How will we... Whoa. Whoa. Hey, that tickles! Woohoo! Captain, the waves are filling her fins like a giant sail! Then we'd better sail this ship to safety! Grab a rope, Dashi! Make such a good sail, Muriel. I think we finally found something you're good at. Huh. Is everyone okay? We're fine, Captain. But where are we? That storm pulled us pretty far out to sea. There's nothing around for miles. Oh, no. We're lost. <gasps> now we'll never find the secret feeding ground. Uh, Muriel, what's that you're eating? Oh, just some krill. It's what we mantas eat. There'll be tons of krill at the big feast. Something's pulling the krill away. It could be a clue. Everyone, follow those krill. We'll have to come back for the cup A later. Look! They're being sucked into that current. Of course. A current is like a river of fast-moving water in the ocean. Follow the great big swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. This must be it. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Look, more krill. We must be getting close. Aye, we are getting close. To that giant breeze! Lappity flippers! The current's too strong to swim out of! We're going to crash! Two crashes in one day. That's a new record, Muriel. There's something on the other side. Everyone, sideways formation! Shiver me whiskers! A hidden lagoon! The reef makes a ring all around it. Follow the river to the secret ring. That means... This must be it! The secret manta ray feeding ground. But I don't see any manta rays. The big feast must be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. It's like a manta ray whirlpool. That's how we manage to raise each when we all get together. Now, these are some good shots. Uh, my camera! Yeah, it's going too fast. Here, hop on, chaps. Now, let's get that camera. <laughs> Almost have it. Oh! Look out! Careful where you're going. Oh dear, leave it to Muriel. This is starting to get a little rough. We need to hurry. <gasps> Dashi, are you okay? I'm fine, but we have to help the others. What about your camera? I'll leave it. My friends come first. <laughs> Now for Quasi and Peso. <laughs> Peso, Quasi, grab on. <laughs> grab on? Grab on to what? Ah! No! No! Should have seen that coming. Now let's get out of here. 
The only way out is up. Muriel, we'll have to leap over the reef. Uh, I'm not very good at leaping. We'll help you. First, you've got to dive down to build up speed. Okay, here goes. Now, up to the surface, fast. <laughs> Muriel, what's the matter? I just thought we might like a picture or two. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks. I've got an idea for a great one. Here we go. Muriel? I guess I'm not so bad at leaping after all. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, chaps. Now that's a photo fit for the cover of National Geographic. <laughs> oh, thanks, Muriel. Did you get Muriel's good side? That's the side I'm on. No, that's the side I'm on. I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 